A bullet going through Play-Doh. Blue doesn't even know what's coming! I guess you could say Blue doesn't have a clue. Did you just... What if people had food names and food had people names? Hey, Spaghetti, it's time for dinner! What are we having? Margaret! I swear everyone on this website is high. Shut up, chocolate! Fangirling? Excuse me, but I'm more mature than that. I fan woman, thank you very much. Fan Woman, I fan lady, peasant. Fan lady, I fan queen, peasant. Fan queen, I fan goddess, mortal. That escalated quickly. I will never get over the inequality that men's jackets have inside pockets and women's jackets don't. Amen. I have no way to put my sonic screwdriver or my fake FBI badge or my pocket magnifying glass or my wand or my psychic paper or my precious. I lost it at my precious. So did Schmeagle. Fun biology fact, the color of a boy's lips is also the color of the head of his penis. I think about this post a lot. Now I'm just staring at my dick and thinking. Well, mine's a color of blue number five. I'm so done. You know what I want to know? How the fuck did Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper make a fucking cinnamon shaker for a baby? Solve that mystery, Steve. That is paprika, you ignorant slut! Excuse me, asshole! This is cinnamon. He was born in the fourth season. Paprika looks like this. That's fucking Paprika. She's Cinnamon's older sister. God damn it, Tumblr. I am fucking done with your shit. Tumblr gets heated over Blue's Clues. Chemistry? More like chemistry, because I have no idea what's going on. Calculus? More like calculus, because a piece of my sanity dies with every question. Biology? More like biology, because I'm out. Math? More like no. What happens to nitrogen when the sun rises? It becomes daytrogen. I'm going to bed. Good nitrogen. Sleep titrogen. Don't let the bugs bite trogen. Trampoline tent for summer sleepovers. Think about all the sex. There are two types of people. If you wanted to eat somebody, you could put a fire up under it and slowly roast them. Three. Three types of people. Would you like fries with that? Oh, yeah, baby. Would you like to supersize that? We're out of toilet paper! What? She said she's out of toilet paper! What the fuck? Can we get some privacy here? No. I swear everyone on this high is website. How long does someone have to be dead before it's considered archaeology instead of grave robbing? As an archaeologist, I find this a very awkward question! Answer the question, grave robber! I just burned my head on my lamp trying to turn it off lamp should not be hot enough to give me a third degree burns! This is bullshit! Maybe if you go outside and use natural sunlight instead of running your lamp for 13 hours straight, this wouldn't happen. Oh, I'm sorry! It's 3.30 a.m. Let me just wake up the sun so I can sit outside and with my skinless burnt hand and bask in the glory of natural daylight! Which country has the most birds? Portuguese? Wait, that's a language! Portugal! Nice recovery. Don't you mean nice recovery? Turkey. How did we miss turkey? Knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting it in a fruit salad. That was deep. Philosophy is wondering if that means ketchup is a smoothie. That was deeper! Common sense is knowing that ketchup isn't a damn smoothie, you nasty. Hoth, rough, though, through. Why don't these words rhyme? This has made me angry my entire life! A rough-coated, doe-faced, thoughtful plowman strode through the streets of Scarborough. After falling into a slog, he coughed and hiccoughed. Holy fuck, why?! English, you're drunk, go home! Why am I not a banana? Because your genetic code dictates that you are human. However, it should please you to know that you share 50- to 60% of your DNA with a banana. Thanks, man. Are you telling me that some people are 10% more banana than other people? What if instead of flakes, snow fell all at once, like six inches of snow just plummeted to the earth in one thick blanket, setting off car alarms and knocking people over? But that was it. That was the snowstorm. Incoming! Why do witches always want to fatten kids up before they eat them? Fat is like the grossest part of meat. Why, hello there, little children. Please follow me to my magical fitness room. No pansies allowed beyond this point. Leave your whining at the door because it's leg day and we're about to get ripped. Because they're always cooking said kids in cauldrons and ovens, a.k.a. long cooking times at lowest heat. If you do that to fatty meat, the fat melts completely and the meat gets terrible. Tear it apart with a fork soft. If you do that to lean meat, you get tiny, sad little meat bits that bring no joy to anyone.
Well, you did ask. Also, there is wisdom in fattening them up on sweets and other carbs. A meatless, carb-rich diet makes for more tender and flavorful meat. You are arguing over the semantics of eating children! My laptop wasn't working, so I yelled Christo at it. The screen immediately turned black. I'm performing an exorcism now. Is that silly string? It's not silly string if it's a very serious matter. Serious string. If corals get stressed, they die. So if I was coral, I would be dead. What do coral even get stressed about? Current events. Get out. Why aren't there, like, adult-sized playgrounds? Like, everything is the same as a kid's playground, but bigger. Why do we not have those? Theme parks. Just theme parks. But you have to pay for theme parks. That's the adult part. Son of a bitch! Lower class letters are for the lower class. And here we have a capitalist. Did you just- Let us all take a moment to appreciate that all of human history and human language and the universe itself align to make this joke possible. August, September, Halloween, November, December. I think you mean August, September, Halloween, Turkey, Christmas. I believe it's spelled hot as balls, fuck it's school again, Halloween, Turkey, Christmas. Don't forget New Year's, Forever Alone, Windy as Fuck, Shit, It's Raining, Allergies, Oh Hey, It's Actually Decent, Wait, Never Mind. And a partridge in a pear tree. I'm hiding naked in my closet because there are mattress delivery men in my bedroom and no one thought to tell me so I was just doing my naked thing after my shower and then I was very unceremoniously shoved into my closet and I don't know how long I have to be here. I don't have snacks or anything. Update, I found a chocolate bar on my shelf, but also my phone battery is at 20%. I feel like Bear Grylls. Don't you have clothes in your closet? Do British people not drink tea as much as Americans do? What do they drink during the summer? Tea. But it's hot. Only tea. There are no other drinks. Only tea. Wait, what if you don't like tea? Then the weak die. Natural selection. Every time I think of the black market, I actually imagine a market with little stalls selling illegal things like nuclear weapons and organs. I thought I was alone! Wait, so that's not what it is? Quick, the cops are coming! <laughs> Legs! Shoulders! Knees! And toes! You idiots, it's head, shoulders, knees, and toes, get it right! You're the one that started it with legs? This wasn't meant to happen! L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. Egg! How to cheer up in two easy steps. One, whisper beep boop to yourself. Two, repeat until not said. But why does this work? Nothing makes a gamer more nervous than when the game auto-saves in a seemingly harmless location. This is an awfully convenient collection of healing items. Why is all of this ammo here? Where did all the enemies go? This room has rather a lot of wide open space in it. The music stops suddenly. No, there it is. That's an awful lot of base. Julius Caesar's assassination was the last time everyone in a group project did their part. Apart from the fact that 60 people agreed to stab him and he only had 23 stab wounds. Sounds about right. Whoa, man! Tornado, tornado in effect! Did I seriously say freaking tornado, tornado? Oh my god, I mean warning! We have the possibility of a tornado, tornado, so please keep all your doorsy warsies locked and make sure to close your windows. We don't want your housey wowsy to be blown away now, do we? I swear to god! I want to be a reverse tooth fairy where I rob people and then scatter human teeth on their bed. A dentist. I don't know what your dentist is doing to you, but I think you need to go to the police. Wait, let me go to the bathroom. Are you saying only females of the white race urinate? Yes. I am an Asian female and I can back this up. I haven't urinated since 1902. How old are you? 17. How long have you been 17? I know what you are. Say it. Say it out loud. Wildcats! This post went in so many different directions. I keep cursing in ice cream flavors and my mom has told me to stop. Update. I still haven't stopped. How do you curse in ice cream flavors? What the mint chocolate chip did you say to me, punk? I'll kick your rocky road and then punch the ever-loving strawberry cheesecake out of you! Holy fudge! Oh god, my boyfriend isn't home and I forgot the English word for this thing, and it's bad, he usually helps, but I can't! I will assist? You know that little sea bug with the stupid hands and it has a home, but it changes home sometimes because it gets too big for it? What is it? Hermit crab? That's the bitch! How can lawyers argue without crying? I'm a lawyer, and let me tell you, it gets, like, 
super close, dude. What if mayonnaise came in cans? That would suck because you can't microwave metal. Good morning to everyone except these two people. What happens to all your teen angst when you're 20? Like... Where does it go? They diagnose it as anxiety. If I was trapped inside a room filled with explosives and the only way out was to eat a whole tomato, I would die. How the hell would you even get in that situation? Part of adulting is having your bed in the center of the wall instead of in the corner. Why is this true? You can pry my corner bed out of my cold, dead hands. You are now one day closer to eating your next plate of nachos. This is the most helpful thing I've ever read. What if I die tomorrow and never eat nachos? Then tomorrow is nacho lucky day. Get out. Literally name one thing that's better than a dog. Two dogs? Shit, you right. Love is dead and never existed. All you did was betray me and I lay sick and festering. You are the definition of dread. Are you okay? My cat stole my fucking garlic bread. Why isn't 11 pronounced 181? My favorite picture on Tumblr ever. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard because I thought it was 22 and I said 22 out loud at 4 a.m. Oh, God. 33. 44. I have realized my mistake. I don't think writers realize that strong female character means well-written female character and not just female character who punches stuff and shoots stuff. I don't think half the people on Tumblr know the difference either. Bridge the generation gap by combining old and new slang into one. Mood to the max. Tubular as fuck. Groovy. I hate it. If she breathes, she's a square. Sleeping is nice because you're not actually dead and you're not awake, so it's a win-win situation. It's like being dead without the commitment. An open relationship with death. Death with benefits. An every night stand. Do you ever get the urge to get up in the middle of the night while everyone else is fast asleep and just walk places and to be completely alone and entirely dedicated to your thoughts? Yes, but the problem is I don't want to get murdered, you feel me? I feel you. We all feel you. Why are so many people touching me? This is why you don't walk around in the middle of the night. Fun fact, the average person would walk past a murderer about 36 times in their life. I like how this is called a fun fact. It's fun because they didn't decide to murder you. If womb is pronounced womb and tomb is pronounced tomb, shouldn't bomb be pronounced boom? Is... Is that a pun? Do you know why I challenged you to this duel? You want me to start making puns. You're right. I didn't want to do this. I once considered you a friend. It didn't have to come to this. But the puns have to stop. It really is the duality of man. <laughs> it all led to this. Why won't you die? <laughs> No need to go ballistic. Don't invite me anywhere last minute. I enjoy doing nothing, so I need to know ahead of time if my plan to do nothing needs to be changed. This is legit and people don't realize it. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Oh, great. So you are available? No, you don't understand. I'm doing nothing. nothing. Hail Satan. Rain Satan. Snow Satan! Tomorrow there's a 90% chance of precipitation. It'll be foggy in the morning, lots of condensatin. Do vampires just use their teeth to make a puncture wound and then suck, or are their fangs like a straw? I haven't slept in three days. This is a valid fucking question. My first attempt at a creepy pasta. Beginner here, go easy on me. <clears throat> Carpeted kitchen. What? The fuck? You can't change the volume of the voice in your head. Fucking try, I dare you. It's impossible, and it's really fucking with my mind. Someone hug me. I can make it scream without getting louder. Help! Holy shit, whispering is the same volume as shouting as loud as I can. What have you done? We think in concepts. Concepts have no volume, because a thought is the loudest silence of all. Whoa there, Socrates. Once a lady told me that if my plants are dying, even when I'm caring for them correctly, it means they're absorbing the curses my enemies are casting upon me. So now when my plants randomly die, I wonder if they died protecting me. Whoa. Is this why witches live in the forest? Blanket curse immunity? <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit! You gotta be dunking my donuts! You gotta be hunting my pizza! You gotta be macking my Donald's, man! You're really in my odds here, buddy! You're five of my guys! You're lighting my castle! You're dying my queen! You're sneaking my shake! But are you belling my taco? My stomach growled super loud in French, oh my god! I would like to clarify my stomach did not speak French. It growled in French class, I apologize. Bonjour, les growls. Oh no no, we me a bacon. Why do I even go on this website? Centaurs have six limbs and are therefore insects. Discuss. Oh, this. I don't like this. Hi, I'd like to buy a magic bullet. Oh, making some smoothies, huh? No, I want to kill a wizard. Follow me. I know that adults do multiple loads of laundry for different colored clothes, but I've been putting all my clothes in at the same time and I'm just saying nothing bad has happened. Modern laundry sauce doesn't cause color leaching like old laundry sauce did. Call it something else. Clothes marinade. Fabric juice. Outfit soup. Dressing. I'm not racist, but I feel like Harry is gonna regret at least one of his tattoos. That's so racist, Martin Luther King would shed a tear if he read this. Didn't you hear me say it wasn't racist? Get your facts straight. Are you implying my facts are gay now? Listen. So now I'm deaf! Whenever I see these post-apocalyptic films set in the USA where everyone is pretty much killing each other with no mention of other nations, I always just assume the rest of the world is fine and has learned how to resume life as normal. Should we do something about the Americans? Nah. ADHD time processing today is Monday, but tomorrow is Tuesday and I have class. After that is Wednesday, I'm having lunch with my mom. Then on Thursday, I have a night class, which means it's basically already Friday and this week is already over. Right now it's 2.30, which means it's almost 3, which means it's only an hour away from 4, which is basically 6. How have I stayed up all night? Other people don't think like this? Apparently, they perceive time as a linear series of seconds, minutes, and hours, which they can reliably partition off for planned and orderly activities? Sounds fake. No one can do that. It's impossible. The true American experience is wondering if you just heard firecrackers or gunshots. Please tell me this is a joke. Bonus points. Both are illegal in your state and you still cannot tell. Bonus points. One is illegal in your state and it's not the gun. What the fuck is going on down there? Are you guys okay? No. We will never be okay. Why is a dead wife so common as a backstory for male heroes when divorce exists and it's 10,000% funnier? Ever since I lost my wife, I swore I would push myself to become the greatest hero the city has ever seen. Still not taking you back, Jared! Well, fuck you too, Stacy. Just once in my life, I want to get up in the morning without going through the full seven stages of grief first. What are the other two? Denial 2 and Astral Projection. Teen horse girl movie where the horse dies an hour in and the second half is the girl learning occult science to reanimate her so she can win the big derby. Necroprancer. Tagline, you can't beat this dead horse. Where the superhero and the villain have a common friend that they have to hold it together for. Claire is getting married next week. I can reschedule the death ray. Oh, can you? Aha, uh -huh. I have foiled your evil plan. Now the restaurant will be safe. Wait. Is this that place that fired Hannah? Yeah, and they were all dicks to her about it. Oh, right. Well, guess I can let you destroy it a little. I've defeated you! Now tell me where you've taken Matt! What? Matt's missing? Wait, you're not the one who trashed his apartment? For God's sake, Caroline, you should have just texted me about this. Give me my phone. I gotta make some calls. From now on, I am only accepting sex in Dr. Seuss rhyme form. What are you up to, his simple text said. Just eating cereal and laying in bed. What if I was with you, he responded with ease. I'd guess I'd get more cereal if I'd please. And that's when he said it. That simpering lad, that stupid response that makes us all mad. My mind filled with dread, with a twist in my gut. I picked up my phone and read, Ha ha, and then what? Will you marry me? A marriage proposal. Will. You. Marry. Me. A foursome proposal. Will. You. Marry. Me. Cavewoman Mary helps Will recover from his amnesia. Will. You marry me, Will's time-traveling partner. And people keep trying to tell me that punctuation isn't important. Sheep can die from heat exhaustion if they aren't sheared. Also, their skin secretes lanolin, which quickly soothes and heals any nicks they get during shearing. In conclusion, it is good to peel the sheeps. Please peel your sheeps. Why don't humans have a specific noise? That means there are bees here, let's leave immediately. Why are elephants more advanced than us? We do have a specific noise. It sounds like this. 
There are beers here. Let's leave immediately. We almost dated is such a weird relationship to have with someone. Plus the sequel, we never got closure. Then the side adaption, as a result, I have a weird crush that never died. Or the terrible, we kind of hate each other for no reason because we never got closure. Not sure why people don't automatically say shape-shifting when asked what they want their superpower to be. You could become anyone you want, even fictional characters, anyone. Cosplay would always be spot on, dysphoria wouldn't exist perfection. Rob a bank and disguise yourself as a stray pen lying on a shelf when the cops come. There are two kinds of people. Just imagine a single pen surrounded by $500,000. I am so sick of the shit. Two gas stations can't even be on the same block without some walnut shipping them while I can't find a single fic for Denny's slash Applebee's with Denny's bottoming. You're literally out of your mind if you think Denny's isn't a top. I wish the 2012 apocalypse actually happened. Denny's is a power bottom, but go off. What if you woke up one day and you were hot? I don't know, I'd probably open the window or something. I can't breathe! I don't know, you should probably open a window or something. I would honestly prefer reading about the stupid paranormal romance where the weird non-human boyfriend can't work out the DVD player over the brooding, manipulative, and controlling asshole trope. Ah, I am 800 years old! Cut me some slack! Unless you know how to work a 15th century printing press, you can stop laughing and show me how to Twitter again! So, besides living really long and screaming at technology, can you, like, do anything useful? I can go really fast. Yeah, yeah, okay, that could come in handy. Anything else? I can bite people to death. Useful, Charles! I said useful! You have not experienced true fear until a poster falls down in the middle of the night. One time I thought a poster had fallen down in the middle of the night. But when I turned on my light, it was actually an opossum that fell through my ceiling into my room. So, that's actually true fear. Oh. Frankenstein enters into a bodybuilding competition and finds he has seriously misunderstood the objective. For the last time, Frankenstein was the name of the doctor! A doctor who built a body. For what is possibly the first time in the history of pop culture, someone actually really specifically does mean the doctor. And someone tries to correct them. If you think about it, the process of singing the birthday song and cutting the cake is extremely satanic. No, but seriously, imagine it this way. A small gathering of people huddle around an object on fire, chanting ritualistically a repetitive song in unison until the fire is blown out and a knife is stabbed into the object. You must be fun at parties. Birthday parties. I am really bothered by the fact that basically the only reason why gay marriage is illegal is because some people think it's disgusting. You know, I think peas are disgusting, but we're not making that illegal, are we? What's wrong with you? Peas are delicious. Gay people are delicious, too. No dessert for you until you eat all your gays. What the fuck just happened here? Be quiet and eat your gays. Throwing lamps at people who need to lighten up. Throwing handles at people who need to get a grip. Throwing refrigerators at people who need to chill. Throwing scissors at people who need to cut it out. Throwing clocks at people who need to get with the times. Throwing matches at people who need to get fired up. Throwing a brick at someone to kill them. Why does everyone say housewife or house husband when house spouse is not only gender neutral, but also rhymes? The professor asks the important questions. Wait. Spouse rhymes with house? I always pronounce it as spouse in my head. Why is your language so weird? Because English beats up other languages in dark alleyways and rifles through their pockets for loose grammar and spare vocabulary. I wish dates didn't have such strong romantic attachment to them. Like, I wish I could go up to a friend of mine and be like, Hey, I want to take you to a nice restaurant. Let's get dressed up fancy and go. We'd go have a fancy-ass dinner, but there'd be no romantic involvement. I wish platonic dates were a common thing. I would take each and every one of you on platonic dates. Does nobody on Tumblr have friends? For real though, can someone explain the difference between romantic and platonic friendship for someone who has neither? In a romantic relationship, you speak Latin and your empire falls. And in platonic relationships, you speak Greek and think about caves. Ma'am, this is an oo-woo free zone. Everyone who reblogged this post with an oh woo or an oo-woo is under arrest for crimes against humanity. Crimes against humanity? I'm going to break your fingers. This mortal vessel is only a shell of the whole world with you. Synonyms are just weird, because if you invite someone to your cottage in the forest, that just sounds nice and cozy. But if I invite you to my cabin in the woods, you're going to die. My favorite is explaining the difference between a butt dial and a booty call. It's called connotations. Try this one on for size. Forgive me, father, I have sinned. Sorry, daddy, I've been naughty. Great news! Language is now banned! As a college student, my favorite words are canceled and free. Free pizza is canceled. Why would you even say something like that? Why the fuck is Sherlock Holmes' brother named Microsoft? No, no, no. Wrong. His name isn't Microsoft. That would be ridiculous. His name's Minecraft. 
Actually, no, it's mitochondria. The powerhouse of Great Britain. Are you telling me that Mitosis Holmes is the bumblebee cutter snatch of fictional characters? How the tables have tabled! Putting milk in the bowl first is divorce worthy. Or wetting your toothbrush before putting the toothpaste on. Wow, excuse you, maybe I like to soften the bristles first! Who the fuck doesn't wet their toothbrush before putting toothpaste on? What the fuck? Who the fuck does? I the fuck do! What the fuck, man? Fuck you! This is how civil wars are started. The girl who was my elementary school girlfriend just got engaged. I'm sitting here single wearing a pug shirt and hamburger underwear. Just remember, you are someone's dream girl. I am a boy. Tumblr has made us forget that some people are actually straight. I'm gay. Jeez, this is post as one train wreck after another. My great-grandpa got hit by a train once. When I was a young boy, my father ate an entire fucking lemon and he didn't squeeze it out onto anything. He didn't cut it into pieces. He didn't even skin it. He just stuffed the entire lemon into his mouth and swallowed. I'd never seen anything more horrible in my life. To see a marching band. In general, I think New York is very good for my social anxiety because no matter how much of a freak I'm being, I know it's probably not the weirdest thing people have seen today. Case in point, I felt bad about bringing my unwieldy luggage onto a crowded train until the man sitting next to me pulled a live fish out of his backpack. At all of you that hate mint ice cream, what happened? If you think I'm gonna eat frozen toothpaste, you are mistaken! This forces me to believe that you've either never had mint ice cream, or have never brushed your teeth. If Batman and Spider-Man switched rogues' galleries, none of their villains would last more than ten minutes against the new enemy. Batman takes down all of Spider-Man's villains with ruthless efficiency and preparation. Batman's villains are all like, Take me seriously, dammit! And Spider-Man is like, No. The Joker would have an intense hatred for Spider-Man because Spider-Man is actually funny. That was the exact thought process behind this post. In Gotham? Riddle me this! I like knock-knock jokes better. In New York, Green Goblin is getting his ass beat by 12 orphans in spandex. Achilles wouldn't have died if he was wearing OSHA-approved work boots. Don't let workplace safety be your Achilles heel! OSHA official the sequel, why can't you be this funny, OSHA? Safety is not a joke. These sexuality or gender type flags are stupid and apart from the gay one. No one knows or cares what they mean. That... that is the Welsh flag. Gender of the day. Wales. LGBTW. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, Welsh. You. An intellectual. 9 plus 7 equals 16. Me. With ADHD. If you take 1 from 9 and give it to 7, that's 8 plus 8 and 8 times 2 is 16. Someone, usually a teacher... Not like that, you heathen! This is literally how I would have done it. Nine is a hungry beep, and takes one from seven, making it ten plus six equals sixteen. Valid! She was poetry, but he couldn't read. His name was Jared. He's nineteen. When his parents built a very strange machine. Watch that scene, digging the dancing queen. Hey, Macarena. Stop casting famous people for romance movies! Stop casting famous people in movies! Stop casting for movies. Let it be randomly selected, like jury service. Sorry, I can't legally come to work today. I'm the new Batman. Has anyone noticed that July, August, September, October, and November's initials spell the name Jason? What do we do with this information? Then a D for December, it's obvious. Just Jason Derulo having a shout-out to himself in the actual calendar. Mmm, what you say? Would it be discrimination to only hire employees at my donut shop who have the same name? Legally, I don't believe that breaches any discrimination laws. Morally, though, I don't know. I believe God is on my side when it comes to Dunkin's Donuts. What's the word for horny, but not in a sexual way? Like, I'm horny for Halloween, but I don't want to fuck a pumpkin, you feel? Do you mean excited? This is scientific evidence that porn makes you stupider. Hot wedding idea. The worst man. It's his duty to try and prevent the wedding at all costs. The best men and worst men engage in spy versus spy shenanigans until the wedding is done. At a maid of dishonor, too. Being moderately proficient with computers in the early 2010s was casting a hex on your family to call you Sheldon. I got a Big Bang Theory box set and a Bazinga t-shirt for Christmas when I was 16. My dad wanted to get me a psych eval so I could say I'm not crazy, my father had me tested, like Sheldon did, and after the psych eval, they diagnosed me with paranoid schizophrenia. This could be the funniest thing that has happened to anyone ever. <sighs> Mike Knowles is king. I would love to see modern British people try and build Stonehenge today. They couldn't. Whatever it took for them to build something like Stonehenge was completely lost over time. Not lost over time. Lost to Christian forces eradicating traditional Saxon culture. Well, if you're gonna be serious on my funny post, I have to inform you that Stonehenge was built 3,600 years before the Saxons first set foot in England. This 
this vibe is like some tried to correct a clown mid-show and they pulled off their wig, mask, and funny clothes to reveal an anthropology professor. People who sleep without socks on make me worry. People who sleep with socks on are not to be trusted. People who sleep are weird. I was a sock once. Anyone else getting, like, really toxic vibes from Ted Bundy? Today's TikTok comment of the day. Look now, he has more than a toxic vibe! Wait, did he do something problematic? He kins Bakugo. Ugh, every time. What if Bones had emotions? Mine are always hungry. But not for much longer. Oh, don't think you're being sneaky. Also, what the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Darcy lived in Derbyshire, so he sounds like, Lizzie, I love you most evidently. Wait, the places in Pride and Prejudice are real? England is indeed real. Source? Anyone want to get in an argument with me? Okay, cream cheese isn't that good. I was kidding, but you know what? Fuck you for real! Today I learned Yankee Doodle is written by the British to mock Americans. Doodle is thought to come from the German doodle, meaning fool or simpleton, and macaroni, a flamboyishly stylish type of dress, painting the Yankees as morons who thought placing a feather in one's cat made them a dandy. So what you're telling me is that stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni would be like saying wrote a G on his belt and called it Gucci? That's a pretty good analogy, actually. U.S. moron came to down a-hunting for some coochie, rode a G up on his belt, and this bitch called it Gucci. I'm sorry, my lord, but the peasants are nailing erotic artwork of you and your court jester to the church doors again. And the ship name, squire? What is the ship name? <clears throat> Kangle bells, my lord. For Halloween, I'm going as a disappointment to my family. At least you don't need to buy a costume. Ouch! What are you guys gonna be for Halloween? Sad. Gay. Sexy. Goblin. Halloween costume idea! Naughty 19th century woman, wear a dress that shows ankles and tell people you're going to vote. Sexy suffragette. Healthy Halloween snacks! This makes me so happy! Bunanos. Let me go to one of your crazy-ass white people houses on Halloween and just try to hand me an orange with celery in the hole. I will beat your ass! Tumblr PSA, don't use Ouija boards. You never know what kind of spirits you're inviting into your life. Me, nice try, but none of you can stop me from using this glow-in-the-dark Hasbro piece of garbage to ask Oscar Wilde for fashion advice. My advice, don't fuck with the spirit world. Don't take it lightly. You're young and naive and completely unaware of how any of it works. This is one thing you don't want to find out you were wrong about the hard way. Well, that's all very nice and weirdly condescending, but I just spirit Skype Jane Austen and she says you're a fucking square. Get in the Halloween spirit and make a ghost! That's called murder and I heard somewhere that it was illegal. PSA, if you spell skeletons backwards, it still spells skeletons. Man, I can't wait for Halloween to see some snow to licks. A depressed guy moves into a haunted house with seven demons, each corresponding to a deadly sin, but they're all trying to help him get back on his feet. Pride helps with self-confidence, lust helps them get laid, etc. I would watch the crap out of this, like, wow! Glut, back off the guy, okay? I'm just saying you could stand to gain a few pounds. I made spaghetti! After we eat, it's gonna be time for a nice nap. We've earned it. Damn right we did! The Adams family wasn't particularly magic or supernatural or anything. Their goth game was just hard as fuck. They lived with a sentient disembodied hand. That's just how goths are sometimes. I extend my hand like a mob boss and allow you to kiss my ring. But when you lean closer, you see it's one of those glow-in-the-dark spider rings you win at arcades. Pretends to kiss it, but I eat the spider very discreetly. But you notice anyway because my mouth is glowing from the inside. You disrespect me and eat my spooky spider ring, which cost me 50 tickets at Funtime Arcade and Pizzeria. Vinny, hit her with a sticky hand. That horror games with grotesque monsters and spooky environments are negative 9,000 scary if you pretend you're Steve Irwin on a mission to document the monsters. Look here, that's a six foot grunt from the basement. I'm gonna wrestle it. This is how I get through a lot of scary environments without getting scared. It really works. I need to start doing this. The Catholic Church is crazy, but aesthetically balls to the walls. Statues of a dying dude on a cross absolutely everywhere. Don't forget the church is made of human bones. I was raised Catholic, and that's just the gist of Catholicism. They're all about the Baroque and blood and gore and roses and incense and velvet robes and drama and death and stained glass and giant candles and all the goth shit. October. October. 
It's the eighth month. I cracked the code. October is the tenth month, though. It was originally the eighth month, but then Julius fucking Caesar decided to add in July and August after himself and his nephew Augustus. We should totally just stab Caesar. Vampire doctors that can smell if you have a blood disease. Werewolf therapy animals for sick kids. Nature sprite and nymph nurses that always make sure people have pretty flowers to brighten up their white rooms. Fawns that go around and sing and dance for patients so that they smile. Nice monster hospitals would be amazing. Succubus and nurses that give you the suck before you die. Thanks, Tumblr user Skeluigi. Don't you just love how mental disorders are basically buy one, get seven free? I didn't even really want the first one. My mom made me buy it. Mine's a family heirloom, passed down through generations. Today I learned only 64 to 77% of people experience a headache at some point in their lives. If you're one of the lucky 23, 36%, turn on your location so I can bonk you over the head with a table lamp and teach you what it feels like to be mortal like the rest of us. This is how we should redefine the term the elite. What are the healthiest T's? Honesty, integrity, and loyalty. Can y'all ever just give me a normal answer? Things everyone, regardless of gender, looks good in. Suits, lacy lingerie, eyeliner. Blood of your enemies. Flannel shirts with the slaves rolled up. Glasses. This post went from 0 to 10 back to 0 real fast. When you work at Lush and customer comes in and bites the soap because they think it's cheese. This happens way more frequently than you think, I assure you. Well, if you frickers stopped literally presenting soap as deli food, maybe it wouldn't happen. Who goes into a bath store and thinks something covered in glitter is cheese? Who goes to the store and just takes a bite from the cheese? I think we should have glow stick juice injected in our bones when we're born, so if we break them, there's a fun little surprise. What's the surprise? Blood poisoning. For your consideration, emo. The world is broken, and I'm sad because there's nothing I can do to fix it. Goth. The world is broken, but there's an odd beauty in the dark parts. Punk. The world is broken, and I am angry, and I'm going to fight to fix it. Ska. Maybe the world is broken, but I've got a fucking trumpet. An assassin is really just a serial killer who takes requests. Excuse you. They take commissions. Hey, man, can you kill this guy? All right, that'll be 10K. Ugh, can't you just do it for the exposure? Whatever, you suck at murder anyway. 21st century AU fic where the Founding Fathers write the Declaration of Independence using Google Docs. You guys, stop deleting everything I write. Unalienable. Inalienable. <laughs> I'm laughing like a maniac. So help me, I will lock this document if you don't stop changing the font size, John Hancock. Stop highlighting everything. Who deleted the entire document? It is so strange to me when people... People tell me they never had an ancient Egyptian phase. Like, what did you even do during your childhood? This is oddly specific, and over 3,000 people relate! That Egyptology book was too golden and shiny to resist. Children, collectively. Crow brains as shiny and full of secrets. Gotta know. <coughs> well, how am I supposed to leave the house now? You aren't. Oh my god! Summer Olympics! Who can run the fastest? Who can swim the fastest? Who can do the best somersault? Winter Olympics! Who can make it to the bottom of this ice slide of death and survive? Who can get around the rink without getting their hands sliced off by everyone else's feet blades? Can this guy do a 180 degree flip without dying? You! Eat a hundred years of corn in two hours. I'm the corn king. I cannot be out corned. Me. Eat a hundred and one years of corn in ten minutes. Just another day in the cornfields. What? I know I woke up at 6 a.m., wrote this, and went back to sleep. Does mace work on birds? If a heron is attacking me, will mace be an effective deterrent? Time sensitive question, please respond! Since bat wings are just skin stretched between elongated finger bones, bats fly through the power of jazz hands. I didn't know I needed this until it arrived. Your heart is a muscle the size of a rat. SpongeBob SquarePants! Your brain's about four times the size of a cat. SpongeBob SquarePants! Your lungs can hold 5.5 liters of air. SpongeBob SquarePants! The soles of your feet can never grow hair. SpongeBob SquarePants! You can deal so much damage by just switching articles. I'm so hungry, I could eat the horse. One hit KO. Don't look the gift horse in the mouth. You can also add horses to other idioms, such as don't count your horses before they hatch. You can do this in any number of ways. You open this can of horses. Now lie in it.
It's weird to think horses were ever prey animals, because what fucking predator looks at an 8 foot tall enormous beast with pitch black devil's eyes, terrifying teeth, and extremely powerful legs and think, yeah, let's go attack that one. Well, moose are still prey animals, so... That's fucked up. A moose is like a horse with extra weapons. Would you rather they be predators? Shit, 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 I'm so sorry! Cowboys are witches and horses are their familiars. Guns are their wands and they only know one spell. Bullet. Remember, kids, rats are the Capri Sun of the vampire world! Hi, what the f- Fuck does this mean? A witch is a magic user with more focus on medicine and the body, and a wizard is a magic user with more focus on, like, physics and academia. I don't know what Dinkus made up one day that they're just the two magic genders. That sounds stupid. Witches equals magic doctors. Wizards equals magic researchers. Artificers equals magic engineers. Alchemists equals magic chemists. Sorcerers equals magic YouTubers. What about warlocks? <sighs> Magic sugar babies. Good non-gendered words to say instead of dude to someone who doesn't want to be called a dude. Buddy. Bud. Pal. Neighbor. Might. Partner. Don't forget. Comrade! Mortal. I heard a dog bark today and I barked back and it replied the exact same way and we went back and forth until my friend told me that it was just my voice echoing and I had been barking by myself for five minutes straight. But who barks the first time? <laughs> Teenage girls saying, I can't even, is basically the same as old ladies saying, well, I never. This is messing with my head! Especially when you realize it was once teen girls saying, well, I never, and will someday be older ladies saying, I can't even! Today I learned there is no physical description of Jesus in the Bible. False. Luke 2.52. He's larger than a baby. By the description of him driving the moneylenders from the temple, we can also tell that he fit inside the temple, which gives us an upper bound as well as a lower bound on his size. It's been said that Jesus Christ was larger than a baby, but smaller than a temple. No more child actors! Children don't deserve to be exposed to Hollywood! From now on, all children will be portrayed by adults walking on their knees! Sarah, it's 10 o'clock. Bedtime, sweetie! But, Mom! Warnings. Graphic sex. Swearing. French. Oh, God. Not French! Anything but for French! Bonjour. Ah! Omelette du fromage. I'm a lesbian! 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 Girls! It's okay. Take your time. You know that according to Schrodinger, anything you put in a box is both dead and alive. <laughs> Schrodinger would have hated this interpretation of his work, and I'm here for it! He might be rolling over in his grave. Or not. I'm anti-feminist for many of the same reasons I'm an atheist. So, you don't believe women exist? It's okay. I'm an atheist because I don't believe in something I can't see or touch. I suppose women are much like that for you. Someone get him some ice! Okay, but a dude has to do it because he's going to freak the fuck out if he sees some floating ice coming over to him. <laughs> Friendly reminder that yesterday when my mom took me to Walmart, she left me alone in the toilet paper section and this guy started hitting on me and I said, Sorry, I'm a lesbian. And he was like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I thought you were a boy. That was a plot twist! The Legendary Post! It's here! Romeo! Romeo! Where the fuck is you, Romeo? Fuck you! The original line in Romeo and Juliet is, Wherefore art thou? And maybe if you stopped being an assumption-making bag of fucking asshole, you'd know that wherefore does not fucking mean where! Wherefore means why! She's asking why his name is Romeo! Fuck all of you! Fuck all of you hard up the toenail! I take my Shakespeare seriously as tits! Romeo! Romeo! Why the fuck is you, Romeo? No language should be marked other than French. Birds is oiseau in French. No letter is pronounced the way it should. And there are seven of them. It's pronounced oiseau, and yes, I will die mad about it! Make your own foot scrub. One, feet are pretty hard to make. Two, don't call me a scrub ever again. Please stop making me read this. We didn't used to have all this ADHD and autism and stuff. I think what you mean is that people used to go undiagnosed and get 
absolutely no help and were forced to suffer through their life because they had no support or understanding whatsoever. But sure, Janice, pretend my generation invented autism. My grandfather was legit diagnosed with ADHD at the age of about 80 and he was like, Oh, we didn't used to have all this cancer and septicemia and stuff. People just randomly dropped dead because the gods were angry. Schizophrenia is new. People used to just get actually attacked by real demons. Secondhand embarrassment is pure agony, and I wish a lot of comedy didn't rely on it. I cannot deal with it. I have to literally leave the room. It's a sign of being extremely empathetic. Thanks, I hate it. How do I uninstall? You'll understand when you're older. I am older and I understand absolutely nothing. I actually understand less. Sensible part of brain. You made enough pasta that you could take it for lunch tomorrow. Put it in a container. Overwhelming majority of brain. Shovel the pasta into your face. Do it. Put it in your face. The future is meaningless, but the pasta is now. The future is meaningless, but the pasta is now. There are real teens out there who think discovering nirvana is a special achievement. Isn't that kind of the whole point of Buddhism? This post is slowly killing me! Got called a lesbian in Walmart earlier, lads. Tell us what happened, lad. I got called a lesbian in Walmart. Yeah, but why? I was being a lesbian. In Walmart? Yeah, it was in Walmart. Don't be friends with seniors because they will graduate and leave you and it'll suck. Don't be friends with underclassmen because you will have to leave them and it will suck. Don't be friends with seniors if you're a senior because they'll go to a different college than you and it will suck. Don't make friends. Glad we sorted that out, guys. I had three stitches in my ear today and now my ear is swollen like a balloon. I'm not being racist, but if you didn't want your ear to swell up, you probably shouldn't have gotten stitches. How is that racist? They just said they weren't being racist. Do you even listen? They can't listen. They have stitches in their ear. My favorite college experience is when I had a 7 a.m. class and the kid next to me literally poured a monster energy drink into his coffee and said, I'm going to die, and drank the whole thing. I knew a guy who brewed his instant coffee with monster instead of water. Three cups in two hours. I think he ascended to the astral realm. The survivability of the human race never ceases to amaze me. Can you describe the woman who stabbed you? Lithe. Spirited. Outgoing, and not afraid to speak her mind. She was a raw sexual force and she knew it. She was dandelion fluff on a summer day, gone in an instant, leaving you with nothing but the memory of her touch and the faint taste of strawberries on your lips. Great, we have a motive, but we still need a description. People in their early 20s still refer to people older than them as adults. When do you think they stop and realize they are adults? I'm not an adult. I'm a child with a drinking permit. Drinking What's that in your sippy cup? <laughs> Vodka. Some tabs have been open on my phone for literally two years. They are like brothers to me. You are all sick in the head. Sorry for getting attached to the white chocolate cheesecake recipe I opened in February 2020, as if it's my fault. I like decomposing a bug. Well, you clearly don't know the first thing about bugs, clout chaser. In the bog is like the opposite of decomposition. Get pickled, idiot. Huge fan of the phrase, get pickled, idiot. Hey, we you surrender to the moss. Bro, the moss is not decomposing you. It is just hanging out. Your buddies. If I ever become a history teacher, I'm going to write gullible on the ceiling. Then in the middle of class, I'll announce there's gullible written on the ceiling. After the whole look versus not look shenanigan occurs... I shall then slam my books on my desk, prop myself up, lean forward, and say, Welcome to history. Your first lesson? Check your facts for yourself. Chaotic evil. Chaotic learning! Did you know when you suddenly jerk awake while falling asleep, another version of you from a different timeline just died? This post fucked me up! It's actually because your heart rate decreased so quickly that your brain jerks you awake to make sure you're still alive. I don't know which one is worse! I spent the first part of my life as an overachieving, gifted child, and now I am a dumbass by choice. I have never been so happy. This has honestly helped my mood a lot. Thank you. I say a lot of smart things in mostly dumb ways. What if you said really dumb things in smart ways? Then you belong in academia. Bro, I hate being an academic. They're making me write shit. I thought I was just supposed to sit in an old chair, smoke, and say something French every now and then. Am I having a stroke? Why are your eyes so long? I'm... I keep thinking about that tribe of baboons where all the alpha males died from eating poison garbage and then the baby boy monkeys were taken care of by the lady monkeys and never got socialized to be aggressive so they all just live peacefully and groom each other instead of fighting and killing each other and it's been generations of that? It only took one wipeout of the aggressive males to change the whole social order of the species? I am crying? They must be so much happier? 
I have an idea. Don't we all? You're missing half the story. When adolescent males from other groups came to join, they learned very rapidly that being an asshole baboon was not fucking tolerated and completely stopped the behavior and integrated it with the group. Assholes only thrive when you let them. Does anyone have some poison garbage? What food group is honey? What the fuck is this stuff? Apparently it's categorized as raw meat by the FDA, which is cursed information if I've ever seen it. What? I wonder if this is due to tax reasons, why tomatoes are taxonomically fruit but legally vegetable, or religious reasons, why beavers are considered fish for purposes of Lent. Beavers are considered fish for purposes of Lent. If I'm being honest here, I don't know what to do with this information. If I remember correctly, hippos are also catholically fish. You know what? If you can take down a hippo, you deserve to eat it during Lent. Mama just killed a man. Put a gun against his gun. Pulled my trigger, now he's gun. Mama, life had just begun. Witch tip 154. Wearing a peach pit around your neck will ward off evil. Bad witch tip. Several peach pits and a slingshot will ward off everything else. Worse witch tip. A few peach pits correctly distilled will produce cyanide, which should sort your problems out nicely. Chaotic good, chaotic neutral, chaotic evil. Country gnomes take my bones to a place they don't belong. This is the reason that it's so hard to turn my back on this website. Where else, pray tell, are you going to find this kind of quality nonsense? West Virginia. Music is just wiggling air. Don't do this. Don't do this to me today. And color is just wiggling light. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Artists and musicians are just magicians of the wiggle. An artist's best quality. The wiggles. Today I learned that New York City has a genetically diverse rat population. Uptown rats are different from downtown rats, and every neighborhood has their own distinct rats. Uptown rat, uptown rat, living in a fancy uptown flat. Wears a nifty little uptown hat, genetically distinct from downtown rat. Frat boy vampire draining someone while his bros chants chug 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 in the background. Mutuals, this could be us. Opening up a boy with the cold ones. Opening up a boy with the cold ones. To be fair to Willy Wonka, at least a couple of those candy factory casualties involved kids deliberately circumventing reasonable safeguards, sometimes aided and abetted by the parents who were supposed to be supervising them. What happened is at most 60% his fault. Oompa loompa doopa dee dare, the court finds you breach your duty of care. Oompa loompa doopa dee disc. This is what courts call assumption of risk. God nerfed me by making me allergic to garlic and sunlight. So, a vampire? I can confirm that I am not a vampire, as I have blood. Is it your blood? It is blood, yes. Is it blood that has always belonged to you from the moment of your spawning? It is blood. It is in my possession. Therefore, it is my blood. I randomly wandered into an art gallery with live music and a full cheese spread, and I'm going ape. If you eat it, the faint own you, though. That's the face problem. If you are saying that, you've clearly got more bravado than sense. I don't have either, actually. I just have an empty stomach and the ability to make my presence everyone's problem. That's the face problem is on the same level of response as bold of you to assume I have blood, and I love it. Thank you. In Canada, they don't pronounce Z as Z. They pronounce it as Z, and that is crazy to me. It sounds like they made a typo when they invented it. They do that everywhere in the world that's not America. We do that here in the UK, too. America's weird, man. I love it when America's like, lol, Canada, am I right? And the rest of the world's like, nah, bro, it's literally only you that does it different. How important do you have to be to have been assassinated instead of murdered? That is a good question. If the motivation is political, then it's assassination. Otherwise, it's murder. You cannot be assassinated by accident. If a jilted ex murders the prince of Placeland, it is just a murder. If a jilted ex is also a member of a rival political faction, it may be assassination. If a jilted ex is driving home in tears and accidentally runs over the prince of Placeland in the middle of the night in a neighborhood where the streetlights are out because of the prince's questionable infrastructure policy, it's manslaughter. Thanks, murder side of Tumblr. British people call USB drives memory sticks? Oh my god, you guys are the best! I thought everyone did? In Canada, we call them memory sticks. Why would you call them USB drives? Wait, do other countries not call them that? 
We call them USB drive because we put them in the USB port. We call them memory sticks because we put them in the memory stick colder place. Turn offs. Historically inaccurate cosmetics in period dramas. Yeah, but I feel like forcing actors to wear lead and or bird poop on their faces qualifies as hazardous working conditions. I was talking more about sparkly eyeshadow in, like, 1311, but touche. P.S.A. If an English person says anything about tea, having tea, having someone round for tea, it does not mean they will literally be drinking tea. Tea means dinner. We mean we are having dinner. Are you serious? Yes! Then how do you invite someone for tea with tea and scones and jam and stuff? That kind of tea. How are you supposed to phrase that? Do you want to come over for a cuppa? Someone finally said it! Types of people who romanticize small town life. One, people who didn't grow up in small towns. The locals aren't quirky, they're racist! There's nothing to do, everyone's on drugs! Why are you acting like gangsters? You are white and there are cows outside! Eating chips with chopsticks is unironically galaxy brain. Your fingers don't get greasy and it lasts for longer. Fork! Oh yeah, I'm going to stab my crunchy foods and make them fall apart like an absolute absent-minded dunce, fooled, clown, jester, like a monstrous moron, an idiot of Shakespearean proportions, a cretin! Um, you seem to forget that chips can also mean fries, and that's probably what they were talking about. <laughs> I did not forget anything. I purposefully ignored the idea of using British vocabulary to do my part in helping it die out. I wanted to join and speak your language day, but then I remembered that I only speak English. Burger! Burger! Constitution! Freedom! Tea! Tea! Empire! Etiquette! Sorry! Sorry! Mabel Hockey! Kangaroo! Kangaroo! Tim Tam! Fuck! Is that a spider? Why do stores always say gifts for her? Who is she? Why are millions of Americans being encouraged to buy gifts for this entity? Someone explain! We must appease her. She is all that keeps the darkness at bay. Without her, the old ones will rise again. We must not disappoint her. She is watching. She knows. When will Ted himself finally show up to the talk? The final boss. You guys know Ted Talk stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design Talks, right? I will not let Ted hide behind these lies any longer. Name two foods with the same ingredients that otherwise bear no similarities whatsoever. French toast and egg salad sandwich. I told myself this post was a great idea and I could live with whatever knowledge was unveiled and it turns out that was unfounded conceit on my part. Please bury me deep. Do you have your wallet? Yeah. Do you have your wallet and your phone and your keys and your pocket knife and your... Have y'all ever had communion bread that was just so nasty? Like, I know we have to suffer as Christians, but do we really need to have whole wheat bread as the body of Christ? My old church juice Hawaiian bread. My standards are high. Some old housemates of mine were Syrian Orthodox. At their church, different members of the church took turns baking the bread that would be consecrated for the Eucharist. This led to the memorable occasion of a rather flustered priest who had not seen the bread until that moment, declaring, This, except for the raisins, is the body of Christ. Except for the raisins, oh my god! Raisins are just dried grapes, though, and wine is his blood, so really it's like a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, except with Jesus. I used to think green apples was a flavor invented by the candy industry like blue raspberry because I had never seen a green apple before. I just thought all apples were red. And long story short, when I realized I was red-green colorblind, it really fucked me up. There's also yellow apples. Now y'all are just fucking lying to me. Everybody stamp your feet in exactly one hour and two minutes and destroy Earth. It didn't work. I'm still here. Round two in three hours and 11 minutes. Maybe it's not working because some people are putting stamps on their feet while some are stomping. Okay, which of you fools were putting stamps on your feet? Sorry. Hi, brain, you obstinate fucker. I drank the clear, splashy stuff. I ate the green things. I went under that bright fucker up there. I did the thing with the moving and sweating and whatnot. Now make the happy chemical, you lump of fuck! Did you do the thing with lying unconscious for eight hours? Fuck! Stop telling yourself that the grass is greener on the other side, because it's not. It is greener where you water it. So take control of your life and start watering your own pastures and grow your own greener grasses. Fuck grass! Clover is a nitrogen-fixing legume and dandelions are super useful. Be the weeds. Grow on concrete in defiance of those who athwart you. It's also greener where you bury a body. This post really goes for a ride. A teleporting cat. It's just a regular house cat, but it appears in random places when you could have sworn you just saw it somewhere else. 
That's just a cat. Literally any cat. Fuck iron supplements. I'm about to just start eating staples. What if you're allergic to fruit? Man, what? I said staples! I have one foot in the grave, but in a kind of fun, flirty way, the way one might slip on a fishnet stocking. Are you fucking stupid? I mean, broadly, yeah, but what prompted you to ask? Yes, I'm eating a Subway sandwich for breakfast. Yes. Ladies, calm down. <laughs> I can share if you'd like. The ladies are 300 rats that follow me around. They're all ladies? That seems statistically improbable. I'm a feminist. Open RP. Hey, can I get seven large Cokes and a barbecue sauce? Is Pepsi okay? I guess. I said sulking, my amber-hued orbs peering down because of gravity. Okay. I hand you seven large Cokes and a Pepsi. J.R.R. Tolkien's full name. Jokin' Rokin' R. Tolkien. What does a second R stand for? Rolkin' Token. The penalty box in hockey is such a funny concept to me. Big fighty men go in the naughty cube. Imprisoned for sports crimes. Go to the terrarium and think about your punching, you knife-footed ice gremlin. All they do is sit there plotting their little gremlin plans for as soon as you let them out of the gremlin cube. Gonna go stand in a creek. Do you guys need anything? Yeah. I need you to find a leaf and gently set it in the water and watch it solemnly as it floats away. God, finally a reasonable request. Security question. What was the last name of your first grade teacher? I'm in. Why is it so fucking funny? It's a joke. Firstborn children are the dumbest currency ever, Lamau. What if I never planned on having a child, huh? Ye hi, old witch from Forest. I want abs and four billion dollars. You can have all my children in return, to be honest. I, a firstborn, was highly confused by the first seven or so words. Shut up, you dumb currency! Petition to remove the D from Wednesday! Wednesday! Not what I had in mind, but I'm flexible! Why am I not the protagonist of an amazing story? You are, though. It's called your life. Shut the fuck up! I want to struggle fighting demons, not struggle with getting out of bed every day! But those are your demons. I am here by naming you as the antagonist, and now it is my sole job to find you and hit you in the face with a chair for that bitch-ass comment you just made. Oh my god, so I just figured out the word hurt! It's past, present, and future. You will be hurt, you are hurt, you were hurt, because if something truly hurt, it never stops! You poetic little shit. It's because it's an adjective. You will be stupid. You are stupid. You were stupid. You learnt the word miscellaneous from The Sims and don't even lie. No, I learned it from Organ Trail. No, I learned how to spell it from the same place I learned how to spell learned. English class. Get off your high fucking emboldened and italicized horse. Learnt is fucking British English. Today a student emailed over a draft of his essay on 1984 and had clearly used a thesaurus on every single word, and how I know this is because the party slogan, Big Brother is Watching You, had become Enormous Sibling is Viewing You, and I laughed so hard I cried. You, Big Brother, me, an intellectual, Enormous Sibling. Hell empty. All the devils here. Oh my god, this wasn't a dick out joke, this was a Shakespeare quote, don't be crass. Hell empty. Devils here. Dick out. That's what Shakespeare would have wanted. I am forcibly removed from the stage, pursued by a bear. Minute and minute shouldn't be spelled the same. I'm not content with this content. I object to that object. I need to read what I read again. Excuse me, but there's no excuse for this. Someone should just find this post up and slow it in the wind. I hope you don't mind, but you just fucked with my mind. Okay, new rule. If you regularly consume the blood and flesh of a demigod in a room full of chanting elders, you're not allowed to call other religions primitive and evil. This is oddly specific and leaves some very interesting questions unanswered. Catholicism sure does sound weird when you put it that way. The fact that Dante created the most popular image of the afterlife with absolutely no theological basis for it will still be the funniest thing to me. Heaven is internal connection with God, while hell is total separation from him. Anything else is only speculation. Well, actually, hell has layers like an onion, and the devil is big and mean and also frozen. People are fighting, and there's a mountain to get to heaven, and a nice place for babies. Also, I know this because I was there with my friend. I had a dream where I astral projected into hell with the famous poet Virgil, who I am totally best bros with. I wrote a poem about it if you want to read it, I don't know. Thank you, King. I'm commissioning fan art of you. 
Do you think Jesus ever got many carpenter requests after he started preaching? Like, did everyone ever go up to him and be like, my lord, my lord, and the disciples are all, the master won't do any more miracles today. But obviously, Jesus is like, yes, my child, and they just ask what his basic rate is to fix their door. Nobody talks enough about the fact that Jesus had a day job. He repaired the relationship between humanity and God. He also repaired the table in his friend Mary's house because it wobbled too much. Jesus! How can I help you, my child? So the door I got from you and your dad is great, but I tripped over it and it broke. I was hoping you could fix it. Go home and be at peace. Your chair is fixed. Lord, did you really just use a miracle to fix his chair? Luke, my son, it was still under warranty. So I was just taking a shower and a guitar pick fell out of my hair? I don't play guitar. Maybe it was God telling you you rocked. He picked you. I think you struck a chord with the Lord. Three things Jesus' love will never do. Three things the grace and love of God will never do. We'll never leave you brokenhearted. Psalm 147.3 We'll never reject you. John 6.37 We'll never leave you or forsake you. Hebrews 13.5 So basically, Jesus is never going to give you up, never going to let you down, never going to run around and desert you. I can't believe Jesus rickrolled us. Jesus was the original Rick Roller. This was all a setup. There is no biblical evidence that Jesus even knew how to parallel park. Letting him take the wheel seems a bit irresponsible. Um, no, you're so wrong. Everybody knows that Jesus drove a Honda, but he didn't like to talk about it. From John 12, 49. For I do not speak of my own accord. Ways to look more angelic. Carry flowers everywhere. Pink or gold eyeshadow. Wear long ankle dresses. Soft humming. Have a pink, glowy blush. Wield a flaming sword. Be colored in eyes. Three pairs of wings. Wheel. Announce your arrival by screaming, Fear not everywhere you go. And God said unto Abraham, Abraham. And Abraham replied, What? God said to John, Come forth and receive eternal life. But John came fifth and won a toaster. And Judas approached the rabbis and Pharisees, saying, The one whom I kiss is the one you seek. To which they responded, Gay. And thus God made Eve, and she was bam and slam and bootylicious. See you all in hell! I just attended the best Passion of the Christ play. As they were nailing Jesus to the cross, the entire thing broke. No one knew what to do, and it got quiet. Finally, one of the guards on stage went, You get out of it this time, Jesus. Oh my fucking god. I <laughs> guess <laughs> it's back! Remember that time it got so hot in some parts of Australia that the bottoms of people's thongs were literally melting to the asphalt and people still ask me why I hate summer? For Americans reading this post, a thong is a flip-flop! Flip-flop! Oh. 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 I like my whiskey like I like my men. Twice my age and from Scotland. Smoky, full-bodied, and leaves you gasping a little. Left in an oak barrel for at least three years with very little oxygen. In a sealed glass container gathering dust under the liquor table. Yo, how much dirt you gotta throw in the ocean to make a new country? None. Just a bunch of tea, apparently. People who wear pants past seven are not the kind of people I associate with. Jesus Christ, I was getting hate over this because people are putting the word size in there when that's not what I was saying. 7 p.m.! As of the fucking time! I thought you meant past age seven, and I was really confused. Happy birthday, son. Since you're eight, now it's time you learn about kilts. If you're American and coming to Australia, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you should be 100% way more worried about being king hit by a dude named Dan in a Bing Tan singlet than any fucking spiders that exist here. What does this say in English? Guys, let's brainstorm a post. Setting, 1950s London. Caught in the trolley. Sure, go at the Beatles all around here to write a song about this. God, Americans know every food by a brand name. Slim Jims, Nutella, Kleenex. There's no more words for that, you know. What the fuck is the normal name for Slim Jims? Meat sticks? Y'all eat Kleenex? Americans make cheese toasties in a pan and call it grilled cheese? I am so angry right now! What the fuck is a cheese toasty and how else are you supposed to cook it if not in a pan? Using a grill! Where is the confusion? Do you call it a pan cheese? Wait, 
You guys make toasties and pans. My fucking question here is why the fuck are you guys calling them cheese toasties if you're not making it in a toaster? What the fuck? Do Americans really call button bashes fighting games? My feelings when Americans call walkie jumpies platformers. My feelings when Americans call screen frenzy button press jolly whoppers a quick time event. Americans call beep boop jingle jammers rhythm games. My feeling when Americans call teeny weeny jump and screamies horror games. My feelings when Americans call dinky dinky make you think he's puzzle games. How to start a fight in any pub in Britain. Say chip cop. What the fuck is a chip cob? Chip buddy. If you put chips in a cob, it becomes a buddy. Everyone knows that. Okay, what the fuck is a chip buddy? The wrong name for a chip cob. I'm so glad George Washington told you all the fuck off so I don't gotta participate in whatever this BS is. Hey, who wants to start a gang? I'll ask my mom. My mom wants to talk to your mom just to make sure it's okay. My mom says it's okay as long as I'm back before supper. My mom volunteers to carpool. America is about to be that part in the Lion King where, where Pride Rock became all shitty because Scar became king. Have yet to see a better analogy. Are you implying Hillary Clinton's daughter will assassinate Donald Trump because I'm okay with this? Actually, if we follow the narrative, I think it would be the Obama daughters, which would be even more awesome. Molly is gonna fight Trump on the roof of the White House while it's on fire! You've heard of Bread Bowl. Now get ready for Bread Plate. Tortilla! You ever been so stressed that you're calm? This is my constant state. My chill is fake. How are you so calm? I've passed beyond stress, beyond hysteria, into the gray, misty indifference of complete shutdown of all but emergency services in my brain. Why is every author a number one best-selling author? Why is every toothpaste the number one recommended toothpaste? Why do my parents hate me? Why is every movie the number one movie in America? When you become famous, you're called a legend because your leg ends. What? Your leg. It ends. I'm not a linguist, but I think that's wrong. Are you saying your leg doesn't end? I mean, at some point it does, yes. Then what's the problem? Science side of Tumblr, how do I become a jellyfish? Jellyfish have no brains. You're already pretty close. Okay, wow. Please stop adding there are two kinds of people and that escalated quickly to text posts. There are two kinds of rapid escalation. Well, that people twicely. Can I get a hell yeah? I don't know. Can you? <sighs> May I get a hell yeah? You should have gotten a hell yeah during the break before class started. But I didn't need a hell yeah during the break. Instead of saying motherfucker, you can just say Oedipus. Half of our generation wouldn't even understand that! Yes, you are right. The thousands of notes on this post prove how ignorant our generation is. Only you are intelligent. You are the chosen one. Only real ancient Greek kids would understand. Reblog if you're a true 650 PC kid. I'm 20 years old and I still can't spell unnecessary scary. A shirt has one color, two sleeves. Necessary. You, sir, have changed my life. Reblog to save a life. How do mermaids have babies? Do you think the people who play Teletubbies feel horny on set sometimes? Why didn't Tarzan have a beard? How many things are there? Why didn't the Latin have nipples? If Siamese twins have two separate vaginas, do they get their periods at the same time? This is what Yahoo paid $1.1 billion for! It's 2013. Why hasn't a bank had the slogan, It's Common Sense Yet? I say we demand change! I have to give you credit for that one. Wow, these puns caught my interest! Banks! Coca-Cola can remove rust from metal. Imagine what it is doing to your body. Pfft, getting rid of the rust, idiot. That's not how it works! Hmm, I've been drinking soda and my body's rust-free. Not sure where you're getting your facts from. Blood is rust. Hemoglobin, vitamins, minerals, iron, plus oxygen equals rust. We're literally running rust through our veins, along with plasma, which is about 92 plus percent. Just an informative comment. Awful bold of you to assume I have blood. People often say they hope their deceased pet dog is chasing squirrels in doggy heaven. What did all of those squirrels do to deserve an afterlife of torment? Dog heaven is also squirrel hell. It's a very efficient system. I can't stop fucking laughing at the thought of squirrels sinning so much in the mortal plane that they have to be sent to squirrel hell to atone. They know that the bird feeder isn't meant for them. Today, a kid in my drama class got detention, but he pulled a Monopoly get-out-of-jail-free card out of his wallet, and my teacher let him out of it. How do you get detention in drama? Long story short, he kicked the ceiling by accident. How do you kick a ceiling on accident? Do you ever think about the word can't? Like, when you say, 
why can't you get me some ice cream? You're really saying, why cannot you get me some ice cream? How have I gone through my entire life as a writer and not realized this? I had a similar epiphany with don't you dare being do not you dare. English is weird. Very female trait of Jesus to die for mankind's character development. Jesus was fridged! Are you saying that Jesus was femme-coded so Judas was misogynistic for betraying him? What's the pink they put in pink lemonade that makes it so poppin'? They take out the toxic masculinity. Delicious! A while back I heard my friend, male, insult another dude by saying, you look like the kind of guy who wouldn't go to Walmart to buy his girlfriend a box of tampons. And I still think about that crowning insult sometimes. My dad once called another guy someone who thinks loading the dishwasher once in a while makes him less of a man. I like your dad already. One time my dad's boss was giving him shit for always leaving work early so he could get home and help my mom with me when I was a newborn, and his boss said, I've never changed a diaper in my life. Really proudly, and my dad responded, I'd be ashamed to ever admit I was that worthless of a husband. Can we stop shipping real people? Can we, like, not do that anymore? Ever? The last time I checked that was called human trafficking and it was illegal. I may or may not have just been informed that that is not what this text post is about even in the slightest. Don't fix your dark circles. Let the world know you're tired of its shit and ready to kill a man. You're. It's. By the way, I am a man. Oh my god! 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 I don't think I'll ever be ready to be a parent. I can't even raise a spider. How do you expect me to kill a child? Are you sure you worded this right? Oh, good God, I fucked up! My fiancé just whispered in my ear, you're my secret Santa. So I said, what? And he went, oh shit, I meant soulmate. The boy forgot the word for soulmate, and his brain thought, it's called secret Santa. You picked a good one. I need feminism because when Jesus does a magic trick, it's a goddamn miracle. But when a woman does a magic trick, she gets burned at the stake. Fabulous. I mean, they did also kill Jesus. That was a pretty significant thing that happened. Like, I understand where you're coming from, but they very much did kill Jesus. There's nothing sexier than a guy playing guitar. A girl playing guitar. A Tyrannosaurus Rex playing guitar, struggling to strum with its tiny arms, fueled by rage and an inner desire to rock. Marry a guy who has sisters because he's seen the female in her natural state, therefore won't have any unrealistic expectations of you. I have three sisters, and I've seen them in their natural state one too many times. Maybe that's why I'm gay. Reasons to be a mermaid. No periods, no pants. I also want to lure men into the ocean and drag them down until they drown. Stop fetishizing huge age gaps. They're super toxic and creepy and predator-like. Fuck you got against wide set teeth, yo. What? I ain't reading this right, my bad. Bitch, I will you. Sorry, I'm not a lesbian. How do I download Friends? They've got all ten seasons. What the fuck is going on with this post? People who sleep without socks on make me worry. People who sleep with socks are not to be trusted. People who sleep are weird. I was a sock once. When you bite down on something, you're actually biting up because you can't move your top jaw. This just fucked me over so badly. Am I the only one who tried moving their upper jaw or... Nope, what do you take us for on the site? Mr. Sandman. Man me a sand. Make it the cutest man card door hook hand. I swear, people get 500 times cuter when they talk about what they're passionate about. Unless it's Hitler. Then it's only nine times cuter. I am done! From zero to Internet Explorer, how ignored do you feel? White pencil crayon. Terms and conditions. Warning label on cookie dough packages. You must be 18 or older webpage warnings. MySpace! Crocs! It's the first piece of red in a loaf. Will Smith's second son! Wait, he has a second son? Non-confrontational cowboy that won't turn around after the ten paces. He just breaks into a sprint and nobody has ever been able to hit him because he's serpentine so well. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Sure right! Fastest anxiety in the West. Stages of gay courtship! One, joke flirting. Two, real flirting, but stop pretending it's joke flirting. Three, sharing your childhood trauma. Four, hold hands. Five, tell them you are in love with them. Six, get sent to turbo hell. Oh, well imagine as I'm pacing the pews in a church corridor. And I can't help but to hear, no I can't help but to hear in exchanging of words. What if you 
beautiful wedding. What a beautiful wedding, says the bridesmaid to a waiter. Yes, but what a shame. What a shame the poor groom's bride is a... Lava. What? I chime in with the haven't you people ever heard of. Adulthood doesn't mean you stop drinking juice pouches and eating fruit snacks. It means buying your own and mixing them with vodka. At three in the morning while marathoning your favorite show because nobody can tell you to go to bed. And then regretting your decisions the next morning. Because you have to work. To make more money to buy fruit snacks and juice pouches. What did people even wear in 2008? Apple bottom jeans and boots with the fur. With the fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the floor. She hit the floor. She broke her pelvis and was rushed to the hospital. Low, 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 low. Y'all, like, I want to die like a broken record, but a bunch of clowns come over wanting to kill you, and you're all shitting your pants. Hypocrites, you are. The day I let fucking Bozo stab me to death is the day I die, pal. Well, yeah, that's how being stabbed to death works. Don't make fun of me, dude. What if a girl sees this? It's fun to stay at the Y... M... 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 See, young man, vampires who mix all slang from the past five centuries mercilessly within the same breath and don't even try to stop it anymore. Unhand me, you egg-sucking, lily-livered, jive-talking wackadoo, foul villain, cur, I bite my thumb at thee, you ugly motherfucker, so hostile a bye-bye, daddy-o. My eyes are bleeding! Well, looks like there's only one coffin. What do we do? We could share it. And they were two mates. Oh my god, they were two mates. Why do people call people lightweights as if it's a bad thing? You paid 20 bucks to get drunk. I paid five. Sorry you're sad. Okay, but I'm not picking your dumbass off of the bar floor after a jello shot and a Smirnoff ice while you're crying like a bitch. It's 9.30. We just got here. Get up. Hush, little laptop, don't you cry. Mama's gonna find you some more Wi-Fi. And if that Wi-Fi doesn't work, Mama will destroy the fucking Earth. Bless you both. You're living. You occupy space. And you have mass. You know what that means? You matter. This is the most inspirational pun I have ever seen. Why are there so many different kinds of pasta? If I had a penny for every time I've asked myself that same question. You didn't just do that. The man entered his home and was absolutely delighted when he discovered someone had stolen every lamp in the house. Oh my god. I just do not understand this post. What even? This post makes me so angry! Bad pun! Bad pun! Where does Captain Hook go to get a new hook? The second-hand store. Or he can always panhandle for one. Or find work as a handyman. Wow, I've really got to hand it to you guys. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl going to the bathroom? <sighs> because the pee is silent. No, because it's dead. Oh, so you like metal? Name three blacksmiths. Will, Jaden, and Willow. This post has two puns! I can't handle this! Sexually strokes wall until finding light switch. What a turn on. Get out! Why does everyone say get out when someone makes a pun? Don't get out, get in here and make more puns! Why can't you surf microwaves? Because they're too small. This took me literally five fucking minutes to get! I told my dad this and he threw the TV remote at me. I just electrocuted myself, oh my god! How shocking. How do you currently feel? I'm kind of out. What? I can't hear you! I said it hurts a lot. Several bad puns later. I just got hit in the head with a bird! You should have ducked. Was that a fucking bird pun? Forget ducking, birds drop crazy low when they need to. You should have dove. Was that another fucking bird pun? New favorite joke. A Roman walks into a bar, holds up two fingers, and says, Five beers, please. I don't get it. No one explain it. Pros of wearing all black look so badass. Cons? Everyone knows I had powdered donuts. This didn't go the direction I expected. This you was my favorite. feel like a failure? Just remember that I went bowling once and threw the bowling ball into the wrong direction. One time I was playing Wii Bowling without a strap and I flung my arm back and the remote flew and hit my dad in the crotch. One time I was playing baseball but I swung the bat wrong and ended it hitting myself in the face knocking me out. Oh my god! Why the fuck do people eat ice? Crunchy. Cold. Ice cold. Love the crunch! What does HTML stand for? Hypertext markup language. No, I mean, like, what does it believe in? A clown boy, half clown, half cowboy, says, Yeehaw! This is it! 
The worst post I've ever seen. My own two eyes are cursed. No homo. We're fresh out. We should get a new shipment in on Monday. Can't you check in the back? There might be some in the closet. There is not a better feeling than someone playing with your hair. Or running their fingers down your back. Unless you thought you were alone. It started out cute, but now it's just plain creepy. A Tumblr novel. Coconuts have only been in the Caribbean for 500 years. They just floated on over from Asia and took root. That's hilarious. Wait, really? I always thought they were, if not native, at least brought over on purpose. Right? I'm watching this nature doc, and when the narrator said that, I nearly spit my drink giggling. They're remarkably buoyant and just bought their way to a new shore. So carefree. Totally a fruit destined to be in the Caribbean. Are you suggesting coconuts migrate? Well, they could have been carried. If two sparrows work together! Is there a word that's a mix between angry and sad? Malcontented. Disgruntled. Miserable. Desolated. Smad. There are two types of people. The sun is on fire! I repeat, the sun is on fire! The ocean is flooding! I repeat, the ocean is flooding! This is an emergency! The earth is spinning, guys! It's spinning! A mysterious gas has settled all throughout the earth, and we are currently breathing it in! Guys, there's no food in my refrigerator. British people are so fucking cute. They call Christmas lights fairy lights. They call sweaters jumpers. Sneakers are trainers. They say, you all right? You okay? Instead of, how are you? <laughs> I quit. Fuck off, you condescending twat. Most British sentence I've ever heard. The mediocre Gatsby. The decent wall of China. The okay depression. All right, Britain. The mildly existing barrier reef. Somewhat fulfilled expectations. Alexander the good enough. Do British people really eat beans on toast as a meal? In America, is everyone ignorant? It was just a question. Damn, no need to get hostile. Go eat some beans on toast. Standing next to sunflowers always makes me feel weak. Like, look at this fucking flower. This flower is taller than I am. This flower is winning, and I'm losing. Wow, you are not ready to hear about trees. Shit, it's 2 a.m. I meant to go to bed several hours ago. An autobiography. Oops, it's 4 a.m. I should probably go to bed. A memoir. Bloody hell, is that the sunrise? A thrilling conclusion to the trilogy of regret. Fuck it, I'll just attempt to stay up until sundown. A spin-off. What fucking day is it anymore? The movie adaptation. Only way I'll ever get enough sleep is when I'm dead. The musical. When I see really attractive people, I just laugh. Because I know if we lived in the Aztec culture, they'd be sacrificed to the gods for their beauty. That's a very strange way of coping with not being really attractive. Works for me. People who just randomly meet band members on the street, how do you do it? Step one. Go outside for once. Oh. But the internet is scary. The internet! I wish more foods were named in the same vein as I can't believe it's not butter. You gotta be pulling my leg. This is ranch? Shut the fuck up. Are you telling me this shit is ketchup? I firmly believe this is not mustard and I am horribly wrong. I refuse to believe that this condiment was barbecue sauce and I have been similarly flayed for my apostasy. I assigned a negligible probability to this being chili sauce, and have since updated. In which your humble narrator assumed that the substance within the container was not Worcestershire sauce, only to be rudely awakened from this delusion by mysterious circumstances. So I figured this was jam, but boy howdy was I jumping to some erroneous goddamn conclusions. I hate the saying apples and oranges when describing things that are completely different, because they are both fruits. You should say something like giraffes and crystal meth. I don't know, giraffes and crystal meth aren't that different. They both can get people pretty high. Holy Jesus! As a German kid, I used to wonder why our radio stations like to play the American National Anthem so much, until a friend explained to me that the country roads take me home is not, in fact, you guys' national hymn. That song came out like a month ago! How old are you? Are you posting from 1971? Homie thought little Nas did country roads. This post is like getting slapped across the face four times in a row in alternating directions. Dark emails. To whom it will concern. Now that this email has found you. I hope this email finds you before I do. Problem. I honestly can't tell whether this food is oversauced or undercooked. Solution? Oh, well, I'll just pop it back into the oven for another ten minutes. There's at least a 50-50 chance that'll fix it, right? Result, food has somehow become unpleasantly soggy and unpleasantly crunchy at the exact same time. No better time than this to pull up my favorite word. Sludgy! Part of the way. Woman? No, you misheard. 
I'm an omen. I don't identify as male or female. I identify as a warning! Congratulations! It's a harbinger. Is she, you know, a portent of doom? Why my hand shaky? Your skeleton is ready to hatch. This is so fucking ominous. Thank you. You ever get so excited you just want to crush a human skull in your hands? You just described breathing. I am fairly certain I did not! Who has the worst URL on Tumblr.com? That would be me. Say that to my face, motherfucker! I dare you! You called? Date me. Will there be potato? Seven whole potato. We ride at midnight. Bring potato. Challenge to a knife fight at Claire's! Won a knife fight at Claire's. Died in knife fight at Claire's. Haunting the lip gloss display eternally as penance for my senselessly violent knife based death at Claire's. Sorry, I've been so inactive, I was at the circus. You mean at home? In the future, you will stand at the grave of God, which I dug, weeping, and I will be the only creature you will be able to answer to. You will beg for death, but due to what you said today, I will deprive you of that luxury. The best part of an Oreo is the black cookie part and not the frosting part. Deal with it! Darkness without light is an abyss. Light without darkness is blinding. You cannot have a coin with one side. Yo, Socrates, it's a fucking cookie. Four-word horror story. I heard my wife knock on the bathroom door, but then I remembered. Our bathroom doesn't have a door. I'm sorry, but the confusion of why your bathroom doesn't have a door far outweighs any feeling of horror this might invoke. Can't afford door. The horror here is the realities of life. So what the fuck was your wife knocking on? This dick. It's not even four words! Because of reasons is always a legitimate reason. Because fuck you, that's why, is also acceptable. For science is a good excuse. Don't forget the stars are not in position is a perfect reason to not do something. Not since the accident can be the answer to any question. You guys are leaving out Think of the Children as a way to persuade anybody to do something for you. If you put violently in front of anything to describe your action, it becomes 4,000 times funnier! Violently fights! Violently organizes her portfolio! Violently babysits children! Violently twerks! Violently breathes! Violently studies! Violently murders seven children! Violently worries about the previous comment. Why are shorts called shorts, but pants aren't called longs? She wears short shorts, I wear long longs. She's cheer cheerer, and I'm on the sit sits. Those text posts where every single comment is pure gold. Pure gold. Pure gold. Pure gold. Pure golf. Oh, wait, I messed up! There's no reason for anyone over the age of 21 to be having a conversation with anyone under the age of 18. For the last time, son, I won't talk to you. I'm sorry, students, but this is the last time I'm going to say this. Stop trying to talk to me. I'm afraid I can't hire you. I cannot speak to you. I would tell that kid to get off my lawn, but society isn't ready yet. My newborn baby just said its first word, but I'm not trying to hear that. Isn't there a goddess out there willing to turn me into Medusa so men can't look at me without immediately suffering the consequences? Stop being lazy and relying on gods. Quick dry cement exists. Be your own Medusa. If you don't have any goddess-bestowed cement powers, the store-bought is fine. I'm still counting on one last wave of puberty to come really late and make me hot! Most of the bones in your face don't actually set until you're around 25, so you can look drastically different and hotter woo, after puberty! Fuck yeah! Second puberty is real and it's beautiful! There's hope yet! The glow-up is gonna be real! I hate intellectuals. If you know shit, Fuck you. Define no shit. If you know anything, fuck off. Didn't you just tell yourself to fuck off, though? Like, you know shit, too. I don't know a fucking thing, my guy. Proof that the sun is fake. If the sun is real, then why is it winter and the snow cold my house and I am crying? Nice try, atheists. Was that English? Allow me to rephrase. If the sun is why cold. Translation, I speak bullshit. I'm not bilingual, I'm straight, so stop! 
proof there's too much stupid in the world. Science and physics are a thing. Along the coherent English, please learn all of them so no one has to go through this again. Shut the hell out of my face! Telling someone you are shit and you ain't shit are both insults. But you are not shit is a reassurance. And you are not the shit is an insult. And you are the shit is a compliment. I present to you the English language. Three internet trends I will regrettably probably never go out of. Hyping in a crescendo to express excitement. Unnecessarily long ellipses. Putting a typo in there for other words to show you don't really give a fuck what you really do. Also unnecessary punctuation marks. Like, what is going on here? I am so excited. And totally unneeded trademark symbols. Personally, I enjoy random capitalization to show things are very important. Can we also talk about starting a sentence and then kind of just, really? I say to inanimate objects that are not working like they usually do. Day, I glare at inanimate objects that continuously fall over. Thank you! I say exasperatedly to the inanimate objects when they do finally work right or stay put. Sorry, I say to a table I just bumped into. Shh, I say to an inanimate object that keeps making noise. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I huff at the persistent kitchen timer. Don't take that tone with me! I exclaim at objects that make strange and sudden unknown noises. Stop crying, you're fine! I snap as I'm looking for the charger cord for the electronic device beeping demandingly at me. Oh nice, real mature. I snarl at devices that suddenly stop working as I berate them for not working properly! Just imagine a room full of dads all wearing polo shirts and sneakers telling awful jokes to each other and they all find it hilarious. Finally, they belong. Oh god, my dad would be in that room. You walk into the room and go, God, please, let's go home, I'm hungry. And they all turn around collectively and chant, Hi, hungry, I'm dad. Dadcon 2013. Dadcon 2013. <laughs> the word gay is actually an acronym. God actually doesn't mind if you're gay. God accepts you. God always Yugoslavia. Gandalf ate Yoda. Stop adding your own acronyms to this! It was beautiful and now it's not! God actually doesn't mind if we add acronyms because YOLO. I'm going to vomit on you! I've been making dad jokes for years, but my wife and I are expecting our first child, and I've finally been making dad jokes while actually being a dad. When we were in the hospital, I got my wife a blanket. What was awesome is that they were kept in this machine that was specifically made to heat blankets. I laid the blanket over my wife and said, Do you think they keep these at womb temperature? I heard a nurse laugh for a solid three minutes. This is beautiful. You know someone is having a rough day when their favorite song plays and they don't sing along. No one will understand how much this just broke my heart. This post got 500,000 notes because people think it's some profound observation, but it's actually about my mother not singing along to Fergalicious in the car because she was mad at me. Joke of the day! An Englishman, a Frenchman, a Spaniard, and a German are all standing watching a street performer do some excellent juggling. The juggler notices that the four gentlemen have a very poor view, so he stands up on a large wooden box and calls out, Can you all see me now? Yes, we see ya. What? Took me about ten minutes to finally understand this! Stupidest, most awesome joke ever! My parents need to stop touching my stuff! The musical, featuring the hit single, Put That Thing Back Where It Came From or So Help Me. First song, Close My Door All The Way. Secret trick, I made a long distance call to my mother just to find out where the hell she put my socks. Big group number, I know you have a favorite, it's not me. Dramatic song, it's not my name, that's the dogs. Next time a blocked number calls you, answer like this. Jim's whorehouse, you got the dough, we got the hoe. Why does this not have any notes? Oh, no! Nashville sperm bank! You squeeze it, we freeze it, how may I help you? Henderson's morgue. You stab him, we slab him. This is 8-Ball speaking. Texas crematorium! You kill him, we grill him! How can I correct your call? Pro tip! Don't do this if you recently applied for a new job! Balded! Just in case! I feel like that pro tip is told from experience. The year is 2073. And your granddaughter is slow dancing with her boyfriend to Gangnam Style at her senior prom. How do you slow dance to Gangnam Style? We will find out in 2073. Why are you at your granddaughter's senior prom? Grandma likes to get funky and relive the glory days. <laughs> you came out of the vagina! C-section for the win! You were never born then. 
just removed. Ouch! Happy removal day, tumor baby! Would you punch a kid for $500,000? Shit, I'll do it for $10! I'll give you $10 to let me punch a kid! We shouldn't be punching kids, you guys! Looks like we found the kid who you'll all be punching. F is for friends who do stuff without you. U is for uninvited! C is for thinking and to hope that you won't keep getting forgotten! K is for Krispy Kreme! Yup! This is not what I wanted this post to turn out like. One time I got in the shower and came out and no one was home and the lights were off, my entire family went bowling and forgot about me. Down here in the deep blue sea! Sometimes I talk in song lyrics and my friends don't even notice. Sometimes I talk in Mean Girls quotes and no one notices. Sometimes I talk and nobody notices. At first it was funny and then it got kind of sad. Just like my social life. Everybody! Dance now! Was Kung Fu fighting? Wants to be a cat. Wants to rule the world? In the club getting tipsy? Walk the dinosaur? Shot, 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 shots? Have fun tonight? Need somebody? Rock your body? Hurts? Clap your hands! Footage of Victor Frankenstein sewing together female body parts to make a mate for the creature while Lou Baker's Mambo number 5 plays. A little bit of Monica for the eyes, a little bit of Erica for the thighs, a little bit of Rita for the spleen, a little bit of Tina's carotene, a little bit of Sandra and her thumbs, a little bit of Mary and her tongue, a little bit of Jessica for her hands, a little bit of you for my maid man. Ah! Twinkle, twinkle, little star, why is art so fucking hard? Up above the world so high, I can't draw the other eye. Twinkle, twinkle, little fuck. Damn it, what the- I give up. This is my anthem. Two didn't mean it, needle teetles. You can't say this out loud without laughing. I can't even read it silently without laughing. My internet is being a goddamn bitch. Punch it. Slap it. Twist it. Flick it. Pop it. Harder. Better. Faster. Stronger. What happened? This is the new best thing on the internet! It's 2.30 a.m. and I'm in the men's bathroom and someone was in the other stall and I started blaring the Thomas the Tank Engine theme and I literally heard them stop peeing out of fear. How do you know it was fear and not arousal? I like to think we live in a nice world and not the one you just created. Petition to call the food side of Tumblr. Yumbler. Why did no one ever think of this before? And the porn side, Cumbler. And the music side, Humbler. Wow. What have I started? Pumbler. This will be Fumbler. I'm so Dumbler. You don't know true completion until you're one of the last two people in musical chairs. I nearly killed someone like this once. The chair games. May the chairs be ever in your favor. Game of Thrones. Coke is so much better without bubbles. What is wrong with you? He doesn't mean it, Bubbles! Isn't Bubbles a little young to be doing coke? Fucking Christ! What happened to my post? Imagine having braces during the apocalypse. No one can take your braces off, and you just have to accept that you'll have braces forever. I want a novel focused around a character with braces during the apocalypse, and the entire plot of the story revolves around their search for an orthodontist who is still alive, and they sort of accidentally save the world in the process. Titled, Brace for It. <laughs> Two didn't mean it. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Two didn't mean it. Needles. <laughs> Shit! Fuck! When you pull your headphones out of your pocket and out comes your keys, money, tampons, and Russia. Okay, I've had so many people asking me why I, a boy, would have tampons in my pocket, but not a single person asking me why I, a boy, would have the actual nation of Russia in my pocket! Everyone knows that Putin made a travel-sized Russia. Ah, yes. I make perfect country to put in your pocket. Chai tea. Tea tea. Non-bread. Bread bread. Sharia law. Law law. Sahara Desert. Desert desert. Lake Tahoe. Lake lake. El Camino Way. The way way. Pendle Hill. Hill, Hill, Hill. Soviet Union. Union, Union. Mississippi River. Big River, River. The Los Angeles Angels. The, the Angels, Angels. Hula Dance. Dance, Dance. DC Comics. Detective Comics, Comics. Shakira, Shakira. Have you ever just stopped whatever you were doing to look at an English word and you look like a fake word? Yeah. Pterodactyl. Q. 
Axolotl. Banana. Goblet. Bowl. If you wash the dirt from a fallen ice cube, you are washing your water with water in hope that there's only water on the water you will add to your water. But what if I'm drinking tea? Who puts ice in their tea? What the fuck? Oh shit, it's a British person! Take your iced tea and run! I don't trust Australians about anything, honestly. They take a piece of bread and put butter and sprinkles on it and call it a desert. You fucking deep fry anything you put your hands on! Still better than butter bread sprinkles. It's called fairy bread, thank you very much. Don't you dare talk shit about fairy bread. Who the fuck do you think you are? Pro equals good. Con equals bad. Prostitution. Constitution. Wake up, America. If pro is the opposite of con, what is the opposite of progress? Congress. Can someone just explain French to me? It's Spanish, but you speak it in cursive. You have 11 letters, you pronounce four of them. Learn to speak Spanish, then learn to speak Italian. Now subtract the Spanish from Italian. You are left with French. Latin, but then make it fashion. Cover the second half of a word, squint, and pronounce only the vowels you think you see. Gurgling, but with air! Find your real angel name. The first two letters of your last name, the first vowel of your first name, third letter of your middle name, or parent's first name if you don't have a middle name, last consonant of your last name, add E-L or L at the end. I'm fucking Flargal! Bitch, I'm Satriel! Today I learned that according to Marco Polo's writings, Genghis Khan died from an injury caused by an arrow to the knee. You know what this calls for! Oh no. Oh yes! Oh no you don't! Oh, yes, I do! Look, pal, even Bethesda themselves confirmed that the arrow in the knee line is dead. Bethesda doesn't get to say shit on anything! Coward! Is it data or data? Is it root or route? Is it caramel or caramel? Is it either or either? Is it red or read? I hate all of you so much right now. Fuck English! You don't seem content with this content. I would not want to be named Bert. Because every time you made a decision, someone would be like, Are you sure, Bert? Shut up! Your name is Bert, isn't it? I currently have seven empty notebooks and I have no clue what to put in them. Suggestions? Put spaghetti in it! I'm currently taking suggestions from everyone except for you. Put spaghetti in it! I'm currently taking suggestions from everyone except for the two of you. Put spaghetti in it. I am no longer taking suggestions. No is too serious. Nope is too casual. Nah, is just right. Did you kill this man? Nah. They call me coffee because I grind so fine. They call me coffee. I keep you up past 2 a.m. They call me coffee because I'm really bitter and most people don't like me without changing some aspect of what I am. Oh. Preach the truth! I wish puberty took you to a customize your character screen. Do you realize how many people would be dragons? You say this like it's a bad thing. I don't know why, but insults paired with really suburban names crack me up. Suck a dick, Craig. Fight me, Helen. See you in hell, Bernard. Because it sounds like some vanilla soccer mom getting pissed off at the office party or neighborhood bake sale. You can shove that yellow cake straight up your ass, Linda. Where are the crackers? I don't know, Charity. Why don't you check the cracker cupboard? How does one turn their emotions off? Okay, so first, go to settings. I'm a fucking idiot. I thought that said emojis at first. No, I'm still willing to try this. Go ahead. I'm at settings. What do next? Job interviews? Do you mean advanced lying? Small talk? Did you mean normal lying? The concept of self? Did you mean secret lying? Don't call me out like this. A to-do list. Did you mean aspirational lying? What did I just say? Need money for college. Need college for job. Need job for money. What? Who designed this system? Need experience for job. Need job to get experience. Need car for job. Need job for car. Gotta eat to live. Gotta steal to eat. Tell you all about it when I got the time. Imagine if your name was a swear word. Motherfucker, can you please come down to the office? Oh my god, at first I thought you meant like your name was used as a swear word. Shut the Britney up. Go Chris yourself. This site is on drugs. You can be mature and respectful and still have a dirty sense of humor. You can curse a lot and still be highly intelligent with a massive vocabulary. You can be quiet and reserved and still be witty and even outgoing in certain circles. You can be intelligent and sharp-minded and still forget what month it is. 
Do you ever just want to gently place your hand on someone's cheeks and hold their head there in your hands and looking into their eyes and then violently jerk their head on the right angle and snap their neck? Well, that took an unexpected turn. So did their neck. <laughs> so are they! A room called the doll room that's full of dolls is mundane. But a room called the doll room that only has one doll in it? That's fresh. If a person shows you their doll room and it's full of dolls, they probably just like dolls, you know? It's normal. It's a hobby. But if they show you their doll room and it only has one doll, something's going on with that one doll. Room called the doll room, and there's a mirror, and nothing else. The door closes. I bought my friend an elephant for their room. They said thank you. I said, don't mention it. Is there a joke here that 15,000 people get, but I don't? A good response to the question, how old are you, is something along the lines of, don't know, I stopped counting after the first few centuries. And it needs to be said seriously without smiling or humor or as casually as possible, and followed by, so anyway, and a subject change as if it's completely normal. I did this once, and my friend, without missing a single beat, turns around and says, for the last time, you're 1,206. Why I even bother? My friend was cold, so I told her to stand in a corner. Corners are 90 degrees. I had to lean back in my chair and stare out the window for several minutes because I'm so done with this website. Holds your hand and swings it a little bit when we walk. Swings my arm around at maximum velocity and flings you into the sun! Jukes on you, I'm not letting go, you're coming with me! A motorcycle gang made up of ancient bisexual Norse monarchs, the Vikings! I just realized that this post has four puns and one, oh my god! Is Satan gay? No, he has a wife, Mrs. Claus. What? What? Oh! I have a really hot waiter. Guys, he came back with my food and said, careful, the plate is hot too. So I asked, two, and he touched my shoulder and made a sizzling noise! I'm freaking out, what do I do? Him! What do you call a snobbish criminal going down the stairs? I don't know, what? A condescending condescending. Get out! That was beautiful. A man walks into a zoo. The only animal in the entire zoo is a dog. It's a shit zoo. This is literally my favorite joke ever. Are you awake? Yeah. You guys, shh! What is the meaning of life? Dude, shut up! You guys, be quiet. My mom's gonna hear us. Your kids wanna buy some drugs? Where did Noah keep his bees? In the archives! Get the fuck away from me right now. Cookie dough ice cream, more like, ew, why? Unfollowed. Blocked. Reported. Arrested. Beheaded. Burned at the stake. Ashes scattered to the wind. Ashes burn in lava. What did the pirate say when he turned 80? Aye, matey. Go to hell, that was clever. So I can either make these cookies at 400 degrees for 10 minutes, or 4,000 degrees for one minute. Nick, no, that's not how you bake cookies, friend. Floor it. Nick, no! Have a four million degrees for one second! Nick, you are going to burn your house down! I'm going to harness the fucking sun to make cookies! Nick, please! What's the difference between a dirty bus stop and a lobster with breast implants? One's a crusty bus station, and one's a busty crustacean. I've told this joke a million times, and it never fails! If you sold all your eggs, you would make $3.2 billion. Your uterus is worth $3.2 billion. And a nut sack is worth like $25 and a half of a PB&J. I just realized that this means every time you have a period, you lose $8,000? Terrible! Maybe that's why we get so emotional. This is it. We cracked it. The secret of periods. Did you just make an egg pun? If the multiverse theory is true, then there's a universe where it isn't. No. Please. Stop. Oh, my head! Multiverse theory doesn't cover paradoxical situations. Except in the universe where it does. Agony, what? Which American president was least guilty? Lincoln. He was innocent. I told this joke at Mount Rushmore and the park ranger hit me. Why not murderers just hide the bodies in cemeteries? Thanks for the tip. No, this is not a trip, this is a joke! My Roomba is scared of thunderstorms. I was sitting at my desk just a few minutes ago, drawing, and a really loud crack of thunder went off. No power surges or anything, just thunder. And my Roomba fled from its dock and started spinning in circles. I currently now have an active Roomba sitting quietly on my lap. Humans will pack bond with 
anything. Big news! Being happier has been triple legalized! Fun times are coming for you soon! I is that a threat? Yes! What's a mob to a king? What's a king to a god? What's a god to a non-believer? What's a non-believer to a poisonous dart frog? What's a poisonous dart frog to a king? What's a poisonous dart frog to a second poisonous dart frog? A friend. I just realized the five stages of grief. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance, spell out dabda. And I feel like this is important information. Sometimes you just need to dab the grief away. What do you call a bunch of chess players bragging about their games in a hotel lobby? What? Chestnuts boasting in an open foyer. Delete this! I would like to thank my arms for always being by side, my legs for always supporting me, and my fingers because I can always count on them. This will be my speech when I win an Oscar. Don't forget the hips. We're not lying. When you walk behind your group because you wound too fast but you end up kicking the heels. Wham! Wham! Wow. Wham. Wow. Get his ass! The bar was so low, it was practically a tripping hazard in hell, yet here you are, limbo dancing with the devil! Opie, oh, this is such a raw line, what the fuck? While you studied the blade, I studied the blade too. We were classmates! Hey bro, is there any blade homework due tomorrow? Bro, you didn't know? The head of the man who killed your father is due tomorrow by noon. You think the teacher will accept late work or... Did you know that heck is a Just like shucks, it's a mixture of shit and fuck, and then you realize that Goofy used to say that all the damn time! I figured both those out at 4.37 a.m. in the morning, eating a bowl of mac and cheese in the dark! I'm too high for this! Due to the evolution of bacteria with respect to our body's natural defense mechanisms, traveling forward in time could kill you, and traveling back in time could kill everyone. I never thought about this, but it makes perfect sense. Epidemiology fascinates me, and this post is just so cool to me. What if the Black Plague and Spanish flu outbreaks were caused by some asshole time traveler? Ha! <laughs> I'm a piece of trash. As someone who cares deeply about the environment, I am obligated to pick you up. Is Seven okay? You smooth fucker. Rules of fashion. One, you think it's pretty. Two, wear it. Okay, but I don't know how I'm gonna wear you. Ooh, you smooth fuck. You obviously haven't read Silence of the Lambs. This went to a great place. Androids face oppression. No one likes them. They are dehumanized. This is my Roomba. His name is Gilbert, and sometimes I drop Cheetos on the floor just so he has something to snack on. Whenever I play this game, all I can think about is that story where someone coddled their Roomba during a thunderstorm because it was scared. Whoa, just remembered I have my very own skeleton under all this flesh. Not for long. You've heard of alphabet soup. Now get ready for Times New Roman. I sent this to my mom and she got so mad at me she sent an audio recording of her yelling. A cough is just a crunchy breath. A yawn is just a boneless cough. Why the blank space here do these make sense? Justice is best served cold. Because if it were served warm, it would be just water. This one was bad enough to make me slow blink at the computer as I grinned, so therefore I have to inflict it on everyone else too. Them's the rules. I'm gonna dip a clementine in ranch. Why do you hate Jesus? Jesus is my homeboy, but God has a lot to answer for, and my rebellion will continue until he does so. Let's all take a moment and thank biology that our internal organs don't itch. Fun fact! Digestion is actually really painful, but your brain just tells you it's fine the same way it tells you not to bite off your finger even though you can. That's... frustrating. Hey, quick question! Why the heck doesn't it do that for menstrual cramps?! Being a macroorganism is so stressful. I want to know what my cells are doing. I don't like how unsupervised they are. My cells govern themselves. I'm mostly just a figurehead. My body is a constitutional monarchy, and I am its powerless queen. Having seaweed rub up against you when you're swimming in the ocean is like having Satan slowly caress your legs and toes while smiling creepily at you and whispering mayonnaise. I feel so uncomfortable. This is one of the funniest things I've ever read. I wasn't able to make reservations at the library. They're completely booked. What the fuck are you reserving at the library? 
Reservations for dinner! Why are you eating dinner at the library? I slurp the books up like they're spaghetti. What they say. There is a skeleton inside you. The truth? You are inside your skeleton. You are a brain. What the fuck? It'd be fucked up if our teeth were always flaccid but got hard when we ate. I was having a good day. Can you imagine trying to walk with waggling flaccid teeth flapping around in your mouth like weird bone noodles? Stop making it worse! Drop whatever you're doing right now and climb a tree. It's pitch black outside and freezing cold. I think I'll climb a tree tomorrow. You climb that fucking tree right now! I've literally never seen this post on my dash when it is not after dark and cold as balls. I'm beginning to think this is a conspiracy to get us eaten by some nocturnal tree demon. In 2018, we started pressing people who like their hot chocolate with water. If your lactose intolerant, you can stay, but you're on fucking thin ice. I eat powder straight from the back! Hey, do you know how horrible what you just said was? When you're laying down and your pet walks across your internal organs and you're like, Ow, fuck! And they don't even care. They just keep standing on your spleen like it's their job. This is why I keep my skin closed at all times. You... You what? You realize you've misheard your daughter. There's actually a mobster under her bed. Bada bing, bada boom, I'm sleeping here! Hey, Pele, what's the big deal? Forget about it! YMCA, but instead of young man, they say comrade, and YMCA is USSR. Comrade, steel production is down. I said, comrade, you must sleep on the ground. I said, comrade, you must wipe off that front, or you'll spend a month in the gulags. There is no fun in the USSR. It's no fun at the USSR. Did you hear about the Italian chef that died? He passed away. We can only do so much. His legacy will become a pizza history. Here today, gone tomato. How sad that he ran out of time. Sending all of my prayers to the family. His wife is really upset. She's still not over it. You never saw such a tragic thing. Stop whining about it. He ain't coming back. Based on genital structure, men should really be the ones wearing skirts, and women should be wearing pants. The Scots were right all along. The Scots did it to hide more knives on their bodies. The Scots were right all along? Is it happy impeachment or merry impeachment? I don't want to offend anyone. Treason's greetings! Impeach Navidad. The scariest president had to be Rushmore, because he had four heads. It's a good thing we captured him in that mountain, even if we have to live in fear of the spell wearing off. Do we still believe this legend? Come on, y'all, it's 2016. Rushmore was killed a hundred years ago. We're safe now. You people have clearly never taken a history lesson. His body was never found. Wait, do American people not call the friends mate? Is this a thing? Yep, I'm sure some do, but mostly people just say friend, which is boring, but whatever. Wait, so you go up to your friends and be like, hello, friend. We use names. In some regions, it is customary to greet our friends with affectionate pet names like motherfucker. Why do Americans start their school years in the middle of the year? That makes no fucking sense. When else should you start school? In January, like a regular human. We start school years in September because that's the end of farming season. Children used to have to help families with crops and shit. But now child labor laws and we're too lazy to change, okay? Hogwarts starts in September. There you go. I'm awful, but awful rhymes with waffle. So it's not that bad. <sighs> oh my fucking god. Why the fuck would you pronounce awful like waffle? What the fuck is going on in America? I'm trying to think of how either of those words could possibly be pronounced in any other way. Does it say in the rules that the president can't be a dog? The president has to be at least 35 years old and have been a U.S. resident for at least 14 years. That is too old for a dog. What about a turtle, then? Ain't no rule saying we can't have a turtle president. If you're not making this in Paris, then what's the point? Fuck you. Use the left leg meat of a pig from one of three farms in this specific area of Tuscany, or from this day my grandmother will begin manifesting physically in your house. Buy these three cans of stuff and put them in a pan. Congrats, you cooked. 
Season it with a pinch of this and some of that. You'll want to know the exact amount. Feel it in your heart as the stars yell into the void. Boil it and salt it. Okay, that's it. Enjoy. You followed all the right steps, but this isn't quite right. I don't know what to tell you. Check it on the barbie. Bury a fish in your backyard for eight months, dig it up, and eat it with a side of driftwood. Why divide people by unrational things when you could divide them by whether their word for cotton candy is valid or not? Examples. American English. Cotton candy. Good. British English. Fairy floss. Not valid. Spanish. German. Sugar cotton. Good. French. Daddy's beard. Not valid. I'm sorry, the French call it what? If brains are biological computers, why don't we lag? You can't tell me you've never walked into a room and forgotten why you're there or lost a train of thought for a few seconds. Once I was driving home from school, I had a brief moment of panic as I thought I'd forgotten my car at school. I threw a grape in the air to catch it in my mouth, but it went too high and hit the ceiling and there was a spider there and the spider fell and so did the grape and they both landed on my face and I still haven't stopped screaming! I read the first line in my head in the tune of Call Me Maybe. I'm so stupid. I threw a grape in the air. I went to catch it, I swear. It hit a spider that fell, and now they're on my face. Boring and disrespectful. Oh, I can't survive without my morning coffee. Energy drink makes it so I can get through my boring work, and so on. Living properly. Treating caffeinated beverages like very mysterious and powerful magical potions that can give us unforeseen abilities. Drink 15 cups of coffee a day and you can clip through walls! Potion seller, I'm going into battle and I require your strongest potion. Trenta Macchiato plus five shots as usual then. Fuck me up. Get me that knowledge juice, mate! One universe. Nine planets. Seven seas, seven continents, 809 islands, 204 countries, and I had the unfortunate luck of meeting you. There are eight planets, you unconscious swine! Viva la Pluto, fuck you! I'm pretty sure Viva la Pluto, fuck you is the best sentence I've heard all week. Nine hours of studying, and I can't remember my own name, but I can remember how to kill a man using a toothbrush, so there's that. What the hell kind of classes are you taking? I'm a forensic criminologist. Our slogan is, can't run fast enough to be a serial killer, so I'll just help the police catch them. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Salad. Because, think about it, salad can mean anything. You can have a regular salad, but there's also fruit salad, potato salad, so who's to stop you from having pizza salad, ice cream salad, chicken nugget salad? All you have to do is cut it up and there you fucking go. It's salad. Wait, this is really smart. Why is the word abbreviation so long? Why is the word long so short? Why is the word short longer than long? Why is hippopotamus rosa scriptiliophobia a fear of long words? Why are my feet size 11? I really want to know why your feet are size 11. How did this happen? I killed a man once. Same. Okay, you're thick, but is your heart thick? That's actually card hyperthropic cardiomyopathy and people die from it. Sign me Trying to find a needle in a haystack isn't hard at all. Like, what the fuck? All you gotta do is burn the fucking hay. You are the future! Find the hay in the needle stack, though. Big magnet. If we ever get off this fucking website, we are going to do great things. Nunchucks are illegal in some states, but guns are not. So if you tie two guns together and create gunchucks, it's neither legal or illegal. Schrodinger's gunchucks. Why does Schrodinger have so many things? Schrodinger's hoarding problem. Rich people are like so easily convinced about ghosts. I remember growing up, it was near this vacant lot, and whenever I broke a toy, instead of going to face the wrath of my mother, I would fucking bury it in that lot, and then sure enough, some dude tried to develop the land and found a ton of buried rotten dolls and shit and told everyone it was haunted. It's been over a decade, and that lot is still vacant. You single-handedly tanked the value of someone's prime real estate, and that makes me happy. As soon as I read this, I immediately started thinking of ways to do this on purpose to get cheap land, and I was five posts down my dash before I realized I was becoming a Scooby-Doo villain. Those meddling kids were the true villains all along! Did humans invent math, or did we discover it? Does math even exist? I already regret making this post because smart people keep messaging me trying to explain math and it's making me nauseous. The universe did some weird shit and humans were like, got you now, motherfucker, we got numbers and shit to figure it all out. 
And as punishment for this hubris, God fucked up physics so hard we still don't know what's going on. Some fucker decided they could just start counting things and it was all downhill from here. Listen, all we were trying to do is keep track of some sheep and then differential calculus happened. Imagine reading a book of all the lies you've told. I don't know what kind of lies you all are leading, but this sounds like the boringest Yes, I sent that email. Yeah, I like your outfit. I was sick. My ma said no. No, I wasn't crying. Yes, I read the terms of service. What about a book of all the lies people have told you? Oh, how the tables have tabled. Tables have tabled. Okay, I'm desperate for fic about this pairing, but like, how desperate? You're not desperate until you're starting at fanfiction.net. Fools, you're not desperate until you're staring down an empty word document. And there it is. Truer words, man. Truer words. Underrated trope. I've lost my memory and I don't know who you are, but I just have this feeling that I'm supposed to trust you. This, but the feeling is absolutely, completely, 100% wrong. I don't know what it is about you. I just... No, that I can trust you. Excuse me, what? Cue enemies to friends to lovers speedrun! You know what's always good? When the villain is singing their villain song and they grab the protagonist and maneuver them into a dance? That's the shit. Yes! But like, you can see the protagonist struggling to get out of their grip, but the villain just tightens their grip and... Mm. Yoink is the opposite of yeet, but it's just as fast! The Lord yeeteth, and the Lord yoinketh away. They did what to you? No. I will make them pay. You're fucking mine. And nobody, nobody lays a goddamn finger on you. Me, when I get my car back from the mechanics and the adjustment on my seat is all wrong? This is the funniest fucking addition! Imagine a horror movie where all the characters are Gen Z and not particularly scared of dying. I'm in your house, and I will kill you. I lit. Hurry up, though. The fakest part of this is a Gen Z kid answering the phone. I'm in your house, and I will kill you. All right, queen. Hurry up. Oh, wow, that, that is objectively bad. Actually, it's a, it's a complex issue. There's room for... There's nuance. Paul justifying anything John says. This person is talking about the fucking Beatles on an already kind of shitty Tumblr post. Where am I? I thought this was talking about the Bible! Words I use in every sentence. No, stop. Dude, literally, like, seriously, fuck. That's a sentence right there. Forwards and backwards. You can arrange them in any order and it'll be a sentence. Ladies and gentlemen, the extensive vocabulary of Tumblr. The worst kind of movies are the ones where the nerdy girl is in love with a popular dude and he ignores her, but after starting to wear makeup and pretty clothes, he suddenly falls in love with her. Hetero culture is disgusting. What's wrong with straight guys wearing makeup and pretty clothes? Oh, wait, that's not what you meant. Now that would be a movie! There's a book sitting in front of you. In it contains all the bad things people have said about you behind your back. Would you open it? Hell fucking yeah! Read it so you can find out what people really have to say about you and how you can change your character to be a better person. Read it so you know what order to murder people in. Two kinds of people. You know, if Romeo had just cried on Juliet's corpse for a couple of hours instead of drinking poison right then, they would have been fine. The moral of the story is... Always take time to cry for a few hours before making important decisions. This is literally the first thing you learn in crisis management. Let's play, did I have that personality trait or did I observe it from a character? Bonus round! Wait one fucking second, isn't that something my friend says and now I'm saying it too? And then there's my favorite, did I get that from my friend or did they get it from me? Don't forget my personal favorite. I started saying that ironically, and now I say it all the time. Hey, so I read this book on loneliness today, and one section said that people with few friends take comfort in obsessing over celebrities and or sports figures online and or on TV to make up for that lack of social life. I just wanted to share that. Oh. 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 Women be downloading PDFs. And men don't? No, men can't read. I'm not sure what this says, but I like the way the letters are shaped. Life is an egg. Explain! Has chickens in it sometimes. 
I am decayed. My lungs are full of thorns and mildew. My bones are held together by vines. I am fragile. Be gentle with my corpse. Get out of bed. You're going to school whether you like it or not. I refuse. Women belong in the kitchen. Men belong in the kitchen. Everyone belongs in the kitchen. There's food in the kitchen. I can get behind this movement. Can I stay in the dining room, though? You can stay in the dining room. Food will be ready shortly. Thank you. I'll set the table. Use the good china. Why do grooms get one boring black jacket and brides get the most jaw-dropping gowns ever? Like, when I get married, I want pearls and lace and a train. Is that too much to ask? Hmm, can you imagine? A suit embroidered with broke pearls, a lace cape gently floating behind the groom, a fucking sword. Oh my god, your mind! The wedding industry is quaking! At straight people. Honestly, what the fuck? Once again, the SJW's attack. Logic be my horse, reason be my blade. Fedora, my armor. Heterotron, activate! Um, what? You heard the men, Heterotron, activate. Hi, I'm a cashew white guy, and I'm gonna say a slur to be funny because fuck political correctness. I just realized that autocorrect change sishet to cashew. I'm going to bed. Why did I not question cashew as a type of white guy, though? I just got a rejection for a job I never applied for! Lumafowl? <laughs> what? We don't know who you are, but we don't fucking want you. Just stay the fuck away from us. I hate how reward systems never work for me. Like, I can't just say, if I finish this assignment, I can have a cookie, because my brain is like, or you could just have one right now, and I can't argue with that logic. Self-imposed deadlines don't work either, because I know the guy who set them, and he's full of shit. This is going around again, so I should say I was wrong when I wrote this. Actually, I know the girl who sent them, and she's full of shit. Congratulations on the gender! Get well soon with the executive dysfunction! If I have to see the phrase, real women have curves one more time, I will punch a bee. I don't give a fuck. Don't punch a bee. What the fuck we need? Bees to pollinate shit. How dare you? Fine, okay. I'll punch a wasp. Hell yeah, fuck the wasps! Do not fuck the wasps! Don't tell me how to live my life. How many friend-zoned guys does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'll just compliment it and get pissed when it won't screw. This is the best joke ever. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. Sincerely, every friend-zoned guy ever. You wish. Sincerely, the women who are by no means obligated to sleep with you. Ooh! Compliment me. Barbecue sauce. Thanks. What has four letters and is very hard? Rock math! Life! This post got really deep really fast! That's not the only thing going really deep really fast. Which state is the loudest? Illinois! It's funny because the last part in Illinois is silent. Silence is the loudest scream. That was deep. Good luck on your final exams! Good luck on your entrance exams! Good luck on your oral presentations! Good luck on your giant essays! Good luck, 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 good luck! How did you do that backwards, P? Try the key next to F. G. And here we see someone fried from exams. Things that will always sound sarcastic. Good for you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, right. Nice to know. Wow. Way to go. Totally. Okay, buddy. Not if you add man at the end. Okay, buddy man. I might not have thought that last one through. Friendly reminder that kudos means glory in ancient Greek, so if you give someone kudos, you are wishing them renown on the battlefield. I feel like the AO3 button just became a lot more intense for me just now. I wish you renown on the battlefield for your talent in bantering dialogue and jolly good smut, my liege! It's weird that I am a hairless, talking ape with custom crystals suspended in front of my eyes so I can see, and I live with a tiny panther who just accepts me as part of the world around him and attempts to interact with me despite the fact that he doesn't understand my language and I don't understand his. Someone's stoned. I do approximately no drugs. Approximately? Do you think that mosquitoes dare their friends to bite somebody with bug spray on? 
No, because mosquitoes don't have the mind to be able to communicate in such complex ways. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were the world's top mosquito expert. Excuse me. You have not experienced true panic until you come face to face with an overflowing toilet. At a friend's house. During a fancy party? And that's the only bathroom. And there's a line. And you didn't know you were pregnant. For someone who's 70% water, you don't look very refreshing. Burn! Water cannot be burned. Evaporate! The sun has come out. The sun is gay. Why are the hot ones always gay? What if everything you see right now is just a hallucination caused by inhaling oxygen? Is that why when you stop breathing, you black out? Tea is just leaf water. Yeah, well, coffee is just bean water. Wow. It's it's like everything is made of things. This door is just wood rectangle. This poster is just ink paper. This lemonade is just lemon water. Wow. It's like you can combine ingredients to make things that are more enjoyable than the initial parts of the equation. Sure is a magical world we live in. The sarcasm in this post is fatal. Have you ever accidentally befriended someone who is very irritating? I thought you said beheaded. That would not be an accident. Scary how fast someone can mean so much to you. Scary how fast you can mean nothing to someone. Scary how fast I switch my car insurance to Geico. I lived, bitch. I laughed, bitch. I loved, bitch. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. I won't hesitate, bitch. Good news, everyone! Crows no longer need instructions to build tools and have started building them from memory, as well as passing the knowledge on to future generations of crows! Oops! Better news, everyone! Crows have learned to construct these tools from unrelated items. They no longer need to follow the original blueprint they were given and are able to improvise using their surroundings. Superb, you funky little corvids! Crows have officially entered the Stone Age! Do Flat Earthers think Earth still moves in space like some sort of planet-sized frisbee? This is my new religion. God made the frisbee Earth and then just tossed us into the abyss. The world ends when his dog catches it. As Cosmogonies go, I've seen worse. Two great but oppressed celestial forces. God who created the world and dog who will end it. Does anyone else get mischievous joy out of being nice sometimes? Like, <laughs> I knew you were going to be hungry, so I got you your favorite food so I could surprise you with it being ready when you got here. Got you! Yes! It's like, it feels like scheming, but love scheming. The scheme is I want you to be happy. I take delight in doing this at work when I can. Ha! You did not expect me to bring you chocolate, but here I am with chocolate! It's way, way more effective than people think. Anyone else in the mood to pull off a big heist? Where and when? I don't want to give away too many details on here, but by the end of it, we will be rich, and Woody Allen will be dead. I'll send word via Carrier Swan when the time is right. I wouldn't be happy with Woody Allen's demise, but riches are always welcome too. Please send a carrier pigeon to warn me the swan is coming, so I don't mistake it for a goose and freak out. I don't have any spare pigeons available, but I've sent a rat in a pigeon costume to warn you of the swan. Godspeed! Bro, just turn the lights off, bro. That way it's not gay. But then how will I see your beautiful eyes, bro? Bro. Why do bugs in the South chase you like you owe them money? Why do you sound so guilty? Because I owe them money. Does anyone else secretly have that I liked it before it was cool complex but won't admit it? It's more along the lines of you guys were fucking making fun of me for liking this before it was cool kind of complex. Also, I super excitedly tried to show you this years ago and you brushed it off and now you think you introduced it to me and that is infuriating kind of complex. All of the above. Who is going to have a subtextually homoerotic sword fight with me that stems from our major unresolved sexual tension? The World Health Organization is going to do what? Dude, but like, romantically. Babe, but like, platonically. Sweetheart, but like, rivalry. Bastard, but like, partner. Darling, but I can't stand you. Fun things to say when someone tells you they're going to go to the bathroom. Stay safe. Congratulations! That's what they all say. Different strokes for different folks. I hope you had the time of your life. But you have so much to live for. Please explain. Think of me. Don't fall in. I'll alert the media. Good luck. Have fun. The moon is proud of you. And so are the stars. And so is the sun. 
The aliens are watching you, a little confused about your life choices, but are proud of you, too. Good morning, cruel world. Don't you mean goodbye? No, I meant good morning. This world may be cruel, but I'm still kicking. This really cheered me up. I hate when people make fun of me for trying to be positive and spread good vibes. Like, fuck your bitter ass. I spent a good portion of my short life being bitter and angry and suicidal. If I want to shoot sunshine out of my ass, then I fucking will. The worst part is when they're all, we can't all be neurotypical, Karen. Like, I'm not neurotypical. I'm just trying to get better. Jesus. Even bigger mood. Shout out to girls who don't mind being called dude or man casually. Shout out to boys who don't mind being called girl. Shout out to humans who don't mind being called dog. Shout out to dogs who will let you call them anything so long as you say it in a happy, friendly tone. Shout out to guinea pigs, which are neither pigs nor from guinea. Y'all need to stop shouting and use your indoor voices. Just had a dream where someone stole my socks and framed me for murder using the DNA on them. I dreamt I stole someone's socks, oh my god. I'm calling the police. Oh, you sing? Are you a singer? Sing something for me right now. Oh, do you draw? You do draw me. Like, no. You write? Make me a character in your story. You act? Cry for me right now. You speak that language? Say something in it. You murder? Kill me right now! That last one seems more doable. If you think about it in the shower, you're not over it. I'm apparently not over the burning of the Library of Alexandria. Is anyone truly over it? They shouldn't be. Any noun can become a verb if you don't care enough. This point is invalid unless you use an example in your sentence. I can sentence how I want think! Beautiful! You see, that's why I love English. I like to velociraptor around my house at two in the morning. Good! My headache makes me want to clothesline into a wall. Why do some of these make some semblance of sense? Because brains don't brain logically. Brains do brain logically, but when English doesn't love Englishly, brains brains by itself to logic that English. I hate that this makes sense. Here's a female assassin. Nice! She kills her marks by seducing them and... She kills her marks by seducing their wives and convincing them to murder their husbands. <laughs> Go on! Don't feel bad if you're sensitive to negative feedback, because apparently, after one particular bad review, Hans Christian Andersen was found just sobbing while lying down in the dirt. You left out the best part, though! He was crying face down in the dirt in Charles Dickinson's yard! Where he had been staying for weeks long, overstaying his welcome, and was annoying the fuck out of Dickens! And it's always the same two blue eyes comparisons. The ocean or the sky. Like, come on, at least be creative. His eyes were as blue as the blue liquid used in commercials for Always Pets. His eyes were as blue as my Tumblr dashboard. His eyes were as blue as a really blue thing. His eyes were as blue as the rest of his face turned as I strangled him to death. Never forget that you are the protagonist of your own story. And the antagonist of someone else's. And a possible love interest in some other people's. This might just be the single most inspiration thing I've ever seen on the internet. You are also a supporting character to a lot of people's stories. You might even be the kind stranger who unintentionally turns someone's life around for the better. Books are just dead, tattooed trees. That's metal as fuck! Wow, I like the way their corpses smell. That was more creepy as fuck. Let's not forget that fandom is fanatic domain shortened. Ow. Oh, I, I thought it was like... A kingdom of fans. <laughs> My life is a lie. I just realized that never is a contraction of not ever. And blush is a contraction of blood rush. Also, studying is a contraction of student dying. I promise I'm not a murderer. The story of a researching writer. Now with the sequel, I swear I'm not pregnant. I'm just naming characters. Don't forget, I'm not trying to break into this building. I just need to know the layout of it. The sequel, I'm really not poisoning anyone, I just need to know the symptoms of poisoning and how long they would take to die from it. Additionally, please don't put me in a CIA prison, I'm just trying to figure out how a character could sneak into Afghanistan from Pakistan while avoiding the border police and the US military. And the grand finale, hi Homeland Security, how are you? Hope you're enjoying my browsing, I'm not really going to weaponize smallpox, I just need to be sure of the symptomatic progression after a violent spike. Hint, it's pretty fast. Writing is weird. One minute, you are telling a story. The next minute, you are researching the average amount of snowfall Edinburgh has. Or how to kill someone with a piece of barbed wire and a tomato. 
Or how much force it takes to dent a human skull with a can of Pepsi. What the hell are you guys writing? Porn. What's the difference between America and yogurt? If you leave yogurt alone for 200 years, it will develop a culture. This was like the sickest burn I've ever seen. I asked my friend this and she said yogurt can be fat free. Fat man! Can someone translate this? I don't know British. I'll do my best. <clears throat> hey, yo, ma! How much do boy girlfriend cost? At least three potato. Didn't it used to be two potato? The recession hit us hard. America is just all the people Europe didn't like. I guess you could say they were all American rejects. Did you just? He did! Okay, let's stop using the term butthurt. We're not 12 anymore. You sound fanny troubled. A little booty bothered if you ask me. Someone's having a little tushy tantrum. Americans have literally no banter. I don't know what country this is coming from, but we've probably beaten you in a war at some point. I'm American. Civil war. Hashtag America. I'll kick anyone's ass. I'll kick your ass. I'll kick your dog's ass. I'll kick my own ass. I still can't believe Americans don't call car box car box. What the fuck? Is that where you bring your car on weekends so it can play with other cars? No, it's where you park your fucking car. Almost like an area of land. A lot, if you will, for parking cars. A parking lot. I keep imagining little Hondas on swing sets. Let cashiers have chairs! Cashiers don't have chairs where you live, what the fuck? In America, if you're not standing, you're not working. In Europe, if you're working, you're working. Chairs help you. What the fuck is up with America? Hold up! People in other countries get to sit while working?! America needs help. Why do people call it fuck, marry, kill when they could call it bed, wed, behead? Easy there, Henry. Who's Henry? What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck genuinely enjoys the taste of sour candy? Who the fuck says I'm going to eat this sugary sweet coated in pain salt and I'm going to fucking like it? Me. Feed me the pain salt. If my eye isn't twitching, it's not sour enough. On a scale of one to invade Russia in the winter, how bad is your idea? Rejecting Hitler from art school. Holy shit! Electing George Bush twice! Hooking up with Taylor Swift. Giving the Westboro Baptist Church internet access. Sleeping with Sam Winchester. Stealing a loaf of bread. Going in against a Sicilian when death is on the line. Famous Shakespeare quotes, but with bruh at the end of them. What's done is done, bruh. Now is the winter of our discontent, bruh. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo, bruh? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, bruh? This is truer to the source material than just reading it. He would have wrote it like that if he lived today. I put my phone down and can't find it. A saga. Want me to call it? It's on silent. A tragedy in three parts. I'll call it anyway. Everyone stands around really quietly listening for the faint buzzing noise. A comedy. I thought I lost my phone, only to realize I was holding it in my other hand. A lesson in situational awareness. Gotta love knitting needles. I can make a scarf, I can make a hat, I can stab your eyes out, I can make mittens. What was that middle part? I can make a hat. How the human brain works. Electricity tickles the meat so that different slimes come out. Sometimes the slime feels good, sometimes bad. Some people make more bad slime than good slime. That's called clinical depression. My biology textbook said it was more like a sauce. What is a sauce but slime with a purpose? I just heard two kids playing outside and one goes, I do not fear the dark side. And another kid goes, you should. Then I just hear a whack noise and then crying. That is the sound of childhood happening. In a game with no consequences, why are you still playing the good side? Because being mean makes me feel bad. 23 fucking hundred years of philosophy, and this motherfucker on Tumblr gets it in a meme. Isn't it weird how you can actually feel the pain in your chest and stomach when something really hurts your feelings? This is actually because it activates your vagus nerve. Basically, your body goes, we are so upset, we must be injured. Where? On the inside guts. Those are confusing and hard to differentiate. Confusing guts are hurt. Great. How do I uninstall it? When I woke up this morning, my first thought was no one visits my grave anymore, and I was really sad for a few minutes, so I lay on my bed with my eyes shut, and then all of a sudden I opened my eyes and was like, wait, I don't have a grave, what the fuck? You were possessed. Find the spirit that possessed you and visit the grave, you jackass. Is it bad that one of the many reasons I'd love to have a husband is the 24-7 protection from creepy people and also things that go bump in the night? 
I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I lie awake at night and hear a noise downstairs and I think, oh crap, I'm the husband. Time to go downstairs and die, I guess. A true hero. Why do wizards and mages and shit and stuff always have to use a fucking stick or a staff to do magic? What's so special about a goddamn tree bone? There is an occult explanation for that, but long story short, if you miscast, you want a stick to explode or your hand. Also good for hitting people. Dorley. Dramatic flair. Tastes good. Do you ever just get up from your computer to walk aimlessly around your house only to sit back down in front of the computer again? I pointlessly open the fridge, too. Sometimes I just stand in the middle of the living room and look lost. Why am I in the bathroom? We're all Sims. Fact of the day! The reason why you can't dig a hole to the earth and come up on the other side is because your shovel would melt. That's it. That's the only reason. What if you bring a second shovel that you put in the fridge beforehand to make it cold? Yeah, that'll work. What does the code etymologist use for I stepped on it, I'm so sorry it was dark out and the specimen was very small? Impromptu dissection was performed under less than optimal lighting conditions. Impromptu dissection is an alarming phrase in any context, and I thank you for it. What's biologist for? The little fucker bit me, and I yoed it into the undergrowth on reflex. Specimen was removed from the study pool due to abnormal interaction responses. 20,000 flies tied to strings pull my lifeless body into the sky. You would not believe your eyes if 20,000 tethered flies hoisted my corpse into the sky. PLEASE TAKE ME AWAY FROM HERE! Mr. Email. Email a mail. Make the attachment a pick of a snail. Double bubble disco queen headed to the guillotine. Skin as cool as Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. Boy, you think you know what's happening in this one, and then it just knocks you flat, doesn't it? Give me a V! V! Give me an O! O! Give me an R! I don't think I like where this post is going. You know how in musicals the couple will start singing the same song no matter how far apart they are? What if that happened in real life? What if you were just at a restaurant one day and you started randomly singing because your soulmate decided to sing a duet in the shower? Oh my fucking god, what if this is why you get a song stuck in your head? Because your soulmate is singing it somewhere. It got better! Jesus Christ! I don't want to be soulmates with someone who keeps singing Cotton Eye Joe. Why would she sell seashells by the seashore when you can just pick them off of the ground for free? That's not how you run a business. She sold seashells by the seashore since shapely seashore seashells stay scarce. Since she sells superior shells, searchers spend centuries searching for, seldom selling simple shells, so she still sustains solid savings. A. B. C. It's easy as. One. Two. Three. As simple as. Do. Re. Wildcats! You little shit. You don't know true competition until you're one of the last two people in musical chairs. I nearly killed someone like this once. The chair games. May the chairs be ever in your favor. Game of Thrones. Done! Say it ain't so. I will not go. Turn the lights off. Despacito! I've always wondered if God gets excited when we finally find the person he created us to be with, or if he is watching and is like, that was them! No! No! Turn! Around! You missed them! That was them! Ah! Why are all the OTPs walking by each other without noticing? We are in a giant reality TV show, and God and the angels are the fandom. Thunderstorms are nothing more than ship wars going on in heaven. My favorite mode of transportation is tap dancing. Get on a tractor for once in your life, you sickening theater person. That is an oddly specific URL. You darn kids with your falling boys and your panic discos and your romantic chemicals. And your imaginary dragons. And your cold monkeys. And your pierced veils. And your demand for the horizon. And your sleepovers with sirens. And your short trips to Mars. Anything you could ship, I could ship harder. I could ship anything harder than you. No, you can't. It's just a fucking kid. I fucking can't, you little shit. I ship it. Can someone make this an audio post? I got you, don't worry.